Welcome to the Carvana PPA Tour. We are in Brigham City, Utah at Historic Rees Pioneer Park for the Vulcan Tournament of Champions. And it is men's and women's doubles day, but wait a minute, there's more. We've got mixed doubles on center court this morning because we had wind last night. So we've got extra for you right here at the Vulcan Tournament of Champions. I'm Dave Fleming, thrilled to have you with me. And I am sitting beside one of the best players to ever play this sport, Adam Stone. And Adam, the wind came roaring in last night and we had to suspend play. So we are picking up a mixed doubles quarterfinal before we even get to men's and women's doubles. Bonus pickleball on a Friday, what could be better? That's right, so two things. You don't mess with mother nature. And the second Kinda. is everyone loves bonus pickleball. Four, four, Here we one. go, Dave. So we are at 4-4-1. Four, four, this is game number three of this quarterfinal. And we'll tell you what has happened earlier this morning already in this match after this. So. Boy. Pisnik and Smith got run over in game one. We're up 6-3 in game two, and we're able to get to 11. So Final they now one. have a one-point lead here in game three. The winner will play a semifinal Second, immediately against Zane Navratil and Andrea Coop. So a lot of nuances to this Final morning. 5-4-2. That's Pat Smith serving if you're just joining. Tina Pisnik. Tardio, and there's Tyra Black. I love when the players do that for me. Yes. <laughs> and and six, four, you know, two. we all know some of the younger players, especially teenagers, takes a little while to get going in the morning, and I believe that Tardio and Black are a little flat to start today. So, yeah, we were talking off air before we came on. We we're like, Pisnik and Smith would have loved the 7 a.m. start. Let's go. <laughs> let's let's make those youngsters get up super early, and uh, they got to find it quickly. Yes. Uh, because for those of you that watched them last night, they played as well as those two can play. I mean, this is a team, Pisnik and Smith, playing fantastic, and they got whooped. Yeah, right. So really, uh, the main thing for me has been the cross-court battle between the ladies dinking at the kitchen. So yesterday, Tyra Black was neutral, if not ahead in those rallies. And so far today, Tina Pisnik is very much has the advantage. Yes, we've seen a lot of Pisnik and Black going cross court Nine. and then Pisnik getting one that floats Six, four, a little two. too far and going behind Gabe Tardio. So let's see if that pattern continues. Yeah, remember when you were the right side player to go behind the left side player, it's a great way to earn points and a great way to keep that guy out of the middle. Four, six, well, one. Dave. So here we go, down two. That's just pretty Second firm, serve. as we talked about yesterday. But if you didn't have the chance to see it, a healthy Pat Smith able Four, six, to two. play freely and reach the height of his game here in 2023. Out. Side out. Saw so Tardio try a one lob yesterday, and it was about that long yesterday as well. And I talked to him afterwards, and I said, Gabe, Speed it up, don't throw it up, okay? <laughs> yeah. I guess he didn't listen yeah. to me early, yeah. <laughs> early Or else today. you will throw up after you see where it lands. <laughs> oh boy, we got away with that. Point. And Pisnik again has gone to Tardio's left side and winning. And Tardio's hands are extremely fast. So for Seven, her four, to be able to pull that shot off over and over again, very quality speed up from her. A ridiculous couple of blocks and then does it again down the line. That's right. And I would say 75% plus of the time that she's able to take that ball out of the air, one. she's just going for it and she is getting rewarded. Football. Right foot. Second Howard serve. Hepworth all over the German Pat Smith on that. You hate to have a foot fault on a ball where you really didn't even Eight, need four, to move two. your feet. But uh, that's why we got those 
Hawkeye guys on ladies on those Side lines. Out. So sometimes that can be the thing that just gets the other team going too. You get a gift. So 4-8 here, game three, semifinal to follow immediately. Point. I'm not sure if that was a eagle eye from uh, Tardio and uh, Hurricane Tardio, or they just didn't hit it. Either, yeah. either way, it is a point for them. Yeah, sometimes Five, it's eight, like, one. oh no, neither of us went for it. <laughs> oh, that's what we meant to do. Yes, that's exactly what we meant to do. Wow. And Tardio finally seemed Second to have serve. a little energy as this team has not had the same energy and just got under that one a little bit there, Adam. Yeah, he, dro he dropped that ball over to Pat Smith and just beelined forward, a couple quality Five, volleys. Eight, just lost his balance at the end there. Tough break, but I like what he did. who, again, the discipline and the patience. She's been winning cross court all morning. Don't put it in the air. Yeah, absolutely right. I think that was yes, a mistake. Sir. And uh, you don't drop shot and you don't lob the young bucks, Dave. No. That's, that is definitely <laughs> an unwritten rule yes. in pickleball. <laughs> yeah. Yep, senior ball with, with us. Get that thing over yeah. our yeah. heads. Yeah. Make us lumber back there. Way different situation. <laughs> That's a big stop after they got a couple. So Piznik and Smith trying to get at least one here. You want to put that scoreboard pressure on your opponent, knowing the opportunity in front, in front of you. Navratil and Coop, a very good team waiting. But Navratil, and we'll talk about that, a little dinged up from yesterday. Point. And Tardio frustrated now yeah, because well, it keeps whizzing by. That's right. And so he needs to make an adjustment. I know his partner has left a couple of these shots up. There's no question about it. But he has Nine, to six, make one. an adjustment right now and not sit so heavy for him. Oh, my. Second, he sir. went third and fifth shot drive and was in great position. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying I would try that all the time. Nine, but when six, you two. get the next ball as a high forehand, you did something right. Couldn't complete the combo. Yeah! And we are to match point for Piznik and Smith. And I see no timeouts, very little communication here. And this seems like a spot where you would have wanted to get yourself squared away on where do I want this to go? But they do not, so match point. So they get out of it. Yeah, but that, that's one of the advantages. There's a lot of disadvantages. One of the advantages of being an older player, problem solving Six, 10, and one. figuring things out when times get tough, Dave, it's yeah. just easier for those older players with more life experiences. You can see how hungry Tardigo is. He wants to get involved. Second serve. He's, he's had a couple of one he wanted when he has been trying to get involved, but man, it's a fine line, Dave. Yeah. And, Six, ten, two. and the line, unfortunately for him, was not where that ball ended up. So second chance to cut into the lead. Great Side hands out. there, and again, Tardio just trying to do maybe a little too much. Yeah, and and I actually like uh, Hurricane Tyra moving a few dinks yes. around and staying just incredibly isolated in that one pattern. Uh, let's just hope it's not too little too late for the youngsters. Ken, six, oh, one. It could be too late if this point does not go their way. Match point number two, no. yeah. and point that sails deep. So Piznik and Smith 
are going to the semifinals. They will pay, play Coop and Navratil in the next match on center. I'm sure they'll give them a little time. They've played for about a half hour here this morning. And we will talk to the winners right after this. A crazy match that started yesterday afternoon, but it's Piznik and Smith moving on. Pioneered by revolutionary technology, backed by relentless research, we bring you an unmatched quality of product made right here in the USA. Each performance paddle is engineered to perfection and built to last. Because when it comes to the sport we all love, quality and performance matter. We're Carvana, the company who invented car vending machines oh, and buying a car 100% online. Fun. Now we've created a brand new way for you to sell your car. Whether it's a year old or a few years old, we want to buy your car. Copy. So go to Carvana, enter your license plate, oh, answer a few questions, oh. and our techno wizardry <laughs> calculates your car's value and gives you a real offer in seconds. When you're ready, we'll come to you, pay you on the spot, and pick up your car. That's it. So ditch the old way of selling your car and say hello to the new way at Carvana. Everybody, it is men's and women's doubles day, but we got bonus mixed doubles, and the winners of our last quarterfinal that carried over is standing courtside, Tina Pisnick and Pat Smith. Pat Smith, Dave Fleming here. Congratulations on winning a match that lasted about 14 hours here as it had to carry over into the morning. What did you have to do this morning to get yourself going so you could win that match? I think the most important thing was to bring some energy right off the bat. Um, you know, conditions are a little different now in the morning. It's a little cooler. You got some shade in the court. Uh, obviously, no, no uh, tornadoes coming through here. Um, but we try to get a good start, take that lead that we had in the second game, um, and win the second game. And um, then that just gave us a lot of confidence, I think. And uh, even though we had a slow start in the third, uh, we just believed in ourselves and just try to keep going, you know, and uh, fight one point at a time. And then we got on a roll. and. Uh, Prevented from scoring, and we kept scoring. And Tina played amazing. Hey, Tina, Adam Stone here. Phenomenal job out there. And we all know you have a phenomenal sports background, but you're relatively new to the game of pickleball. How important was it for you to be partnered up with a veteran who can kind of get you through these, these <laughs> tournament days? Well, it's easy when Pat carries, so <laughs> I just I just need to make him look good and, and we're good to go. But like Pat said, it really helped us uh, getting a good night's sleep in and, and recover and have a fresh start this morning. And we were able to execute what we set our goals to and um, it worked out. Well, congratulations, you guys. I know you have another match to play here shortly, so uh, we wish you well and uh, great run so far and uh, keep it up. Thanks, Dave. Thank Thanks, you. Adam. Thanks. Let's go, Tina. Go. All right. So it is Piznik and Smith moving into the semifinals. And as we mentioned, they're going right back out there, Adam. So we will talk about our first mixed double semifinal right after these messages. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. 
To make it to the game, it takes dedication and training. To stay in the game, it takes grit and stamina. To win the game, it takes strategy and skill. You keep focus on your approach, drop, and champion shots, and we'll help you stay focused on your strength, flexibility, speed, and downtime. Having a sports medicine partner in your court is key to helping you make it to the game, stay in the game, and win the game. Select Medical is proud to be the exclusive provider of physical therapy of the PPA Tour. For many of us, we just charge ahead because planning for your future takes time. And right now, thinking about your financial future takes on new meaning. At Baird, our financial advisors have guided individuals and families to achieve their goals through every crisis evolution and groundbreaking idea for over 100 years. That's the difference between thinking you're ready for what lies ahead and knowing you've planned for it. Now that's different. Discover the Baird difference. Play hard for fun, to win, to live. Whatever your play, there's Penetrax Joint and Muscle Cream to let you play on. Deep penetrating relief without greasiness, irritation, or unpleasant odor. Inspired by nature and 100% guaranteed. Try Penetrax and play on. Gearbox introduces the all-new CX-14 Ultimate Power with SST Core. All-new power band technology, delivering controlled, effortless power. All technology, every shot. Welcome back, everybody. There's the beautiful mountains here in Brigham City, Utah. And if you've tuned in for men's and women's doubles, we've got you. But because of the win yesterday, we had to move some of the mixed doubles to today. And here's where we're at. The top half is Irvin and Newman versus Catherine Parento and Tyson McGuffin. That is going to be the last match of the day. So I'm talking all the way through all of the men's and women's doubles. That particular semifinal will be played probably tonight when you start talking about the correct word choice. The bottom semifinal is going to be played right now. So uh, they're giving uh, Tina Pisnik and Pat Smith a little time. They just finished winning their quarterfinal there over Black and Tardio and this gives us a chance to talk about what this might have been 
a very fortunate series of events for one Zane Navratil because yesterday in a terrific battle with Mary Brasha and Dylan Frazier, one of the best mixed doubles matches you'll see because of the variety of strangeness. We had somebody injured, hobbling around the court, <laughs> weird speed ups, trying to figure it out, maybe feeling bad that you know a guy that is moved so well just can't at him. So big opportunity to get a little recovery for Zane here. Definitely, and, and we're, we're not giving anything away. If you watched a, a piece of a second of that match, you know Zane was not his, uh, his best physical self. He was one of the best movers yeah. on tour, Dave. So yes, absolutely true. And uh, it helps it helps Zane, but I'd also think that the play early this morning is a nice springboard yes. for, for Pisnik and Pat Smith uh, moving forward. Uh, as, as you know, those early matches, sometimes you're working out some kinks and to get uh, not only some touch, high level touches in, but a W as yes. well is really nice physically and mentally for them moving into this match. Yeah, because the other part of that is you want to be able to feel good. And it's almost like Coop and Navratil had a buy. You know, you're like the higher seated team and somebody else played and they come out hot and you're like, what is happening? Like that happened to me here a couple of times where we had a buy and then a team played very well in their first round match and you're down 7-1 adjusting to the morning, the altitude, the trains, everything going on here. And so it's an interesting series of who's better off here. <laughs> and the other factor, of course, especially for the dudes, that being Pat and Zane, is they're going to have to jump right into men's. The ladies will have a little bit of a break. That draw will start a little later this morning. So it's it's part of playing live sports outside. You never know where Mother Nature is going to come into this. So I think the other interesting thing, since we will have Pat Smith out on center court, is reunited with Jocelyn DeVillier, his fellow Wichita, Kansas hometown boys now. That's where they live. And they had some great runs while you were having great runs out there. Yes, so just a very fiery team good buddies they kind of broke apart for yeah. a bit of time back together no no ill will or hard yeah. feelings between them so they were they are a team that can put a lot of pressure they can take a lot of balls out of the air they can use their length uh, pat has some great speed up and, and power and they were one of the first teams to really consistently play the johns brothers very tight the johns brothers had some issues with some of the things that pat smith and jay devillier bring to the table so uh I'm looking forward to seeing this, that's for sure. Absolutely. So we're going to take a break. Again, uh, this semifinal will start up probably in the next six to eight minutes. So we'll be right back with that right after this. This is the Vulcan Tournament of Champions. Follow your vibe. Busy Heart Seltzer, flavor for every vibe. Schedule. Reward yourself and 
girls whenever. Stay or go when you wanna. And more is on the way. So when you're ready to go, go with heart. Go with Southwest. Check this out. This is Venom Go by Hyperize. You stick this pod on this pad and boom, instant relief wherever you need it. With nine different variations of heat and vibration, you can soothe your sore muscles instantly. The tight spot on your neck, that little knot on your back, that shoulder that always bugs you and your tight calf after a ride, say bye-bye to the pain and soreness. Heating up six times faster than any other heating pad. Ooh, that's hot. It's designed to get you out and moving. What are you waiting for? Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. Carvana PPA Tour is brought to you by Hyundai, Baird, Vizzy, Carvana, Vulcan, Feel a Pickleball, Hertz, and duper. Welcome back, everybody. It is men's and women's doubles day with a side of mixed. So uh, we're excited to have you with us. And when we look at this tournament, there were five storylines that I wrote coming into this. We'll start at the top. Adam, Catherine Parento. How's she going to look? Let's see. Rest, Pretty darn good. Rest first, Russ. Yeah. Rest wins so far. <laughs> yes, in the singles final for women's singles, and it's in the mixed semi tonight. A lot of people missing, so opportunity knocking. Piznik Smith, Navratil Coop, a great example of that. Right, and how many game threes did we have yesterday? I don't think that's a, a coincidence. Load. Yes, a lot, Dave. Uh, reminder for everybody, it is Saturday morning live. So if you tune in on Sunday, you are 24 hours late for all the best matches. So just another friendly reminder of that. We're almost a mile high, 4,400. And uh, it has been very hot. And for those of you that weren't with us yesterday, the wind affected play. And finally, Adam, when those Utah players get out there like Callie Smith did yesterday, raises their level. They get all excited about it. And it's tough to beat a Utah player here. That's right. So it, it, really nice. One of the better home court advantages, I would say. And I guess there's also a flip side is when the Utah uh, crew heads down to South Florida and places like that's a little more difficult. So that's it's part of the deal. Out, yeah. out, outdoor, outdoor sport. There's no 
frustration you can't just you know be upset about it you got to figure it out Dave and that's part of the deal yeah and I think that's what's fun about this tour going from corner of the country to corner of the country next week we'll be in the middle of the country in Kansas City where it is going to be three digits on the first day and then thankfully cool off for the balance of it again we are playing doctor we'll play weatherman in this period we'll do we'll do whatever it takes and speaking of playing doctor i talked to zane navratil earlier this morning he feels better he's he said i'm going to give a hundred percent whether he is a hundred percent or not is up for debate and we'll see how his movement looks but it was very minimal at the end but they scrapped their way through it yesterday. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I kind of poked at him a little bit yesterday. And he's like, I'm fine. What are you talking about? I'm <laughs> fine. I'm like, OK, Zane. But yeah, no, some, something down in that foot heel uh, area. But let's let's see how he's moving early. It's going to be a huge factor, obviously. All right, here we go. Andrea Coop to serve to Tina Pisnik. Let's play pickleball. Zane may have been watching Tina Pisnik go down the line against Gabe Tardio. And that's right, but let's be clear here. Slightly hobbled, not pinching the middle as hard as you normally One would be. Two. It's going to be a tougher spot for Pisnik to find. Off the tape, and it stays in. So quick two points for Navratil and Coop. The winner is done playing two mixed two. today. And they will get the winner of the other mixed semifinal, which will be played as the last match of the day. And early in this match, Navratil is already moving better than he did in their quarterfinal. Yeah, it might it might not be a, a hundred percent, but like night and day from what we saw uh, yesterday, no question. Second serve. International team, Piznik from Slovenia, was a very decorated tennis player. Top 30 in the world in women's doubles. That's no joke. And what a beautiful ATP from Pisnik right on cue, playing with the German Pat Smith. Just patient mid-court play and then just Slides over to a right for a big ATP. One, Very two, nice job from Tina Pisnik. A lot of heat on that one. We saw that from her last night as well. Really clobbers the ATP, but keeps it low and in the court. Yeah. Man, that's a great take from Pat Smith in the middle. Yeah, it's a it's a shuffle step and then a big lunge. And you know he's uh, about six one six two. So when you have that wingspan. Uh, and, and the ability of Pat Smith at the full stretch to still get elite power two, two, two. is a really nice tool uh, for him. Uh, we had that exact same look in the quarterfinal and couldn't finish there, but uh, rally back to two, tie two, it at two. Don Stanley, our head referee, is on the call for this one. Second serve. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you mean when we shake our heads, they can't hear it? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. right. That was just a no-go zone all day long right there. Oops. Wow, nice job. Can't blame Piznik for sitting heavy on the yeah. backhand, but the, the fact that, that Coop was able to get that across her body Three, two, was very two. well struck from her. And I don't think that's going wide, which is the margin you play with with that shot, so well done. Great read from Pat. Yeah. I mean, he, as soon as he hit the previous ball, he, he just assumed that Coop was going to drive one up the line, and she certainly did. Tough break for him. One, two, two. He couldn't come up with it, but an incredible read. Point. 
There's that heavy forehand topspin roll that when Coop is on, that is a problem. Yeah, I don't know why she's talking about her, uh, some, some issues mentally with her forehand dink. It's looking pretty strong early. A break off the tape, and then it was just an ugly moment on the trampoline. Yeah, there. that was good. She had the uh, the visor and the hair popped <laughs> yeah. up. That was that was a very you don't see Coop looking awkward too no. frequently, but that's that's what the uh, the let core does to these pro players. Two five one. I don't Point. know what Zane Navratil took. Uh, or if he took anything, but if he did, my goodness, it's working because More. He, he really he really looks spry out yeah. there. Three, and five, uh, not only the movement, but getting low and bending his knees more than yesterday. Just Second deep serve. for Pat Smith. Yeah, and just uh, haven't really got into too many heavy patterns Three, five, yet, two. Dave. Some early misses and some really great shots as well. Shut up. And that's one of those where you're hitting the fifth as you think maybe I should have called the return out on the third. Yes, right, yeah, I think so. He tried to give it a little fairy hop there and yes. get it over, but <laughs> couldn't do it. Point. So that's the third volley where Pat was moving and hasn't made it, so something to keep an eye on. And Zane Navratil was straddling the center line, which is really important, Second kind of squeezing one. Pat, making him feel like he had a small window to hit into. Second Andrea, serve. Be careful, Andrea. That's one over to the forehand side, now one over to the backhand side. 0 for 2. 0 for 2. 6 3 2. But, but the midcourt drive worked. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Nice job of thwarting the offensive attack from Coop again. Yeah, it's the man's got heavy hands. He really does. He's always been Three, six, one. a difficult player to attack. That is a Point. forehand that has been used very well from Pat against teams where the guy is over committing to the middle. He's got four, enough six, pace one. to get it past him. So four, six, one. Yeah, and it's 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 a small knock. Uh, her game is phenomenal. But Coop does have some issues in mixed doubles, especially getting that return deep enough to be established at the kitchen line for her first volley. So uh, Zane knows that, and he's going to try to protect her a little bit, and we'll kind of see that game within the game there, Dave. That's why a deep serve can really set you up if you're on the other side. That's just pretty from Pisnik. Yeah, and the inside out <laughs> one-handed backhand counter right down into the dirt at the feet of Andrea Koop. I know that last ball was was a great way to seal the deal, but I was more impressed with yes. that initial counter. Six, six, Dave. One. As was I. So six apiece now. Point. And one of the heaviest forehands in the game seven, strikes six, again, and it is the 19 seed, Pisnik and Smith who have a one-point lead. This is the Vulcan Tournament of Champions. This is bonus mixed doubles day, and these two have a one-point lead.
Innovation is our specialty. Winning is his. Zane Navratil has won more than 40 pro gold medals and back-to-back -back Major League Pickleball titles. One of Pickleball's most iconic and decorated athletes teamed up with our world-class engineers with one goal in mind. Build a paddle that can dominate. The Zane Navratil Signature Paddle. Designed for champions by champions. Available now. Pro XR Pickleball. Innovation you can handle. Welcome back, everybody. There is Zane Navratil talking it over with Andrea Coop. And these are a pair we saw it all day yesterday, constantly communicating and trying to solve the puzzle on the fly. Yeah, I, Come in. I would say 7, 6, 1. 25, 30 tournaments they played together. Yeah. So they, 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 there's definitely an open line of communication. You don't get extra points if you catch it. He didn't, and but he did get caught, and Piznik has been just wearing guys out with that all week. Eight, six, one, Dave, one. she's good at that shot. <laughs> yes. and, I, and it's one of my favorite shots, too, so I am just loving this. Uh, second turn. I uh, think hers might be a little better than mine. I don't know, <laughs> because it, she is really fooling some very high-level players. Uh, good for her and a great shot. I expect it conti to continue. I'm not sure if he hit an out ball or not. The other thing on Piznik is she's earning it with her cross-court dinks, not letting Andrea attack. That's right, yes. Uh, but, yes, absolutely right, Six, Dave. Nice slide there from Andrea. Yes. But there, there is no question that Piznik is pulling the strings a little bit. And uh, controlling what's going on, getting in the patterns that, that she wants to. And it's just great to see from, you know, someone who hasn't been in the sport too long. Seven, eight, one. Yep, and Andrea Coop's like, when in doubt, just absolutely tattoo a two-handed backhand. Ooh, Navratil a bit Second late, turn. but if I'm Coop, I'm like, okay, my guy can can do that, and we need that in our game today. Yeah, it's it's nice. There, uh, she has absolutely thought that. Okay, he was Seven, there eight, for two. the poach. He pushed it wide, but that's that's the Zane I know and love. Here we go. That's all Tina Piznik right there. Yeah, great setup. Like I said, she's pulling the string, setting her partner up. And I don't, I'm not sure if they've played together. And if they have, it's, it's only been a time or two. But we've mentioned Pat, the German. Tina Piznik tight with the Emriches, who are also German. Yes. So th these foreigners are all connected down in South Florida <laughs> yeah. playing some ball. So, uh, so m maybe not inside the lines. Uh, uh, a lot of experience Nine together, but one. they are friends and they are very comfortable outside the lines, which always helps during the yeah, match. It. Yeah, Martin Emmerich and Tammy making a Second, uh, big difference in the sport now as well. Not seven two. Big opportunity to get to ten. And off Point. the tape catches. Zane Navratil, and I saw Pat take a little something off that. Missed a few wilder swings, and he has gotten himself to gain Ten, point. Seven, I got you, I got and one of the most Ta -da. honest, best line callers of all there immediately called himself out, and that probably hit a millimeter of his paddle. Yeah, any time he made an out call, I just walked out. Yeah. Yeah. I, didn't even, I didn't even think about it. Uh, great sportsman. Second serve. There might be a couple other players that I might have given it a longer look. <laughs> <laughs> but not with, not yes. with Pat. No, not Pat, with Pat. Pat, you go back and serve. <laughs> is firing away from two steps behind the kitchen line. I mean, it's tough. I mean, I, I want to I wanna label it a questionable decision, but it, it works for her more than it should, it yeah. seems like. <laughs> Just a 
defending. Can they get to the kitchen? Oh my, and after all that defense and a crazy spinning dig from Navratil, he went offense and caught the tape. Yeah, he did. Tough, tough way to end it, but phenomenal point throughout. You know I love the points with everything, yes. Dave. Uh, when you can get 10, 8, 1. all those varieties of shots into one point, that is what we're all here for. Second chance to close out game one. And they point do eight, it. So is. Pisnik and Smith carry over the morning quarter final win. And that is three games in a row they've won this morning. Can they finish? We'll find out after this. This is the historic Vulcan Tournament of Champions. Forget the way some things taste. Great taste, 96 calories. Tastes like millet time. Welcome back, everybody. Dave Fleming with Adam Stone and Zane Navratil deep in thought as they had a little bit of an early lead, Adam, and then got a little bit away from him. Pisnik and Smith playing very well this morning. Yeah, and now we're close to even on morning court time. So yes. that, that was game one. Got it out of there, even though they did have the, uh, a lead early in that game. So we, we are back to everybody being fresh. Uh, but I know we had some injury stuff, but everyone being fresh mentally and locked into what's happening right now on the court. So I expect uh, uh, game two to be even cleaner, Dave. So let's see if they can back that up. Big, big opportunity here to get to the final, which is Getting tomorrow. Time in, zero, zero, two. The other semi again will be played tonight between Irvin and Newman and McGuffin and Catherine Parento. And look at Pat Smith be able to handle that inside out from Coop. Not a poor shot from Andrew no. Coop. That, I liked that attack from her much better than some of the other ones. And like you One, said, zero, Pat two. Smith with the thunderous backhand and then the forehand to clean it up. Side out. Nice Ale there, yes. pulling the paddle back from Zane Navratil. Never even considered hitting that drive from Piznik. Zero, one, one. Second serve. Man, that looked like trouble off the paddle. Just yeah. catches the tape. Right, and you, you you saw Pat Smith looking for a long time to yeah. take that Zero, out of the one, air, two. and then he kind of bail, yeah. he, he bails he out real off. hard. <laughs> like, get out. <laughs> so this is the challenge of being in the stack. So much pressure one, one, on two. the return. Smart finish. Start out. Down the middle from Pat Smith there, so one apiece. Yeah, you don't, you don't need to put one, too one, much one. on it when you have arms like that. Just, just get a paddle on it, and they'll have plenty of power. And Boy. plenty of power for Pisnik there, and she drove the third the last time she got it, hit it deep. These two have been getting to the kitchen, that's why they're still playing. So two one. Two one one. Point. Well, Piznik 
this is literally the last thing that you pick up as a new pickleball player is calm, collected mid-court play. And she already has oh. it, Dave. It's very impressive. No, 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 that left toe was on. Left toe was on when you hit. Okay, so Don yeah. Stanley even yeah. has a graphic on the video no, board. No, it is. I know what it means. So. So that is a fault and a little conversation with Pat. And man, that was a big opportunity. That's 4 1. But the toe and the Don Stanley alarm clock goes off here early. Pisnik again winning the cross court with that push dink. Left that last one up just a little bit, but it's kind of baity. Right, yeah. And and Andrea, you know, just trying to get out of the pattern. But the thing is, to go soft behind Pat Smith, he's so good at taking that ball out of the air, you have to be very careful. Smith got what he wanted. You saw Side Coop up. and Navratil switch sides. That was effective for them yesterday, Adam. Yes, and, and it's something that they are comfortable doing. So one, four, uh, one. I've seen this from them quite a few times. So I, I like this. Uh, it's not like they're just digging for anything. This is a real strategy for them. Wow. Second serve. Unbelievable windshield wiper save from Piznik. Yeah. And I know Coop had what she wanted on that last ball, but these are the little things. One more two. That, the windshield wiper, and then you win the point a couple shots later. Just huge swings and momentum. Wow, that catches the baseline with just enough top spin. Oh, I thought there was no way that was going to drop. And what a job of adjusting her spots. She's probably at three or four to one from pushing it up the line yeah. and going to the middle. Just really good stuff. Smart play from Piznik. Navratil and Coop calling timeout to think about it. But Piznik and Smith on a run looking to make a final. Hi, I'm Rick Barry. I used to play professional basketball. Now I'm into pickleball. Performance is really important, but also recovery is actually just as important. AloMD is a product that I use constantly before my matches and after my matches for my recovery. Great for inflammation, great for recovery. I keep coming back to this. AloMD all day long, baby. I use it. 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 AloMD Acute Relief Cream. Check this out. This is Venom Go by Hyperize. You stick this pod on this pad and boom, instant relief wherever you need it. With nine different variations of heat and vibration, you can soothe your sore muscles instantly. The tight spot on your neck, that little knot on your back, that shoulder that always bugs you and your tight calf after a ride, say bye-bye to the pain and soreness. Heating up six times faster than any other heating pad. Ooh, that's hot. It's designed to get you out and moving. What are you waiting for? And Tina Pisnik is playing some outrageously good pickleball here. She and Pat Smith are up in game two and already have game one in the bag. And that ability to take a ball up into her body and go inside out, Adam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good stuff. And when you got heavy-handed partner, 
You know, it's a nice combination and nice trust and freedom to do what you need to do. Dig from Zane Navratil be the difference because that's six to one and he took all the pace. From Five, one, two. Yeah, it was really yeah. good stuff with that two hander right in front of his body to deaden that ball in the kitchen. Yeah. And that is a gorgeous inside out dink from Point. Pat Smith. And you, I mean, Zane hasn't even made too many moves. So just to, to not be doing it too frequently and Pat to pick the perfect time to go behind him, Six, uh, one, just two. perfect shot selection from Pat Smith. Running on all cylinders here. Again, feeding the ball through Andrea to Pat. It's working. Yeah, right. And probably one of the, I would say, more questionable attacks uh, these last couple minutes. And, and her partner's just Seven, digging, one, her, digging them out and putting them right back to Coop quickly. 7-1. Coop on the left. 8-1 as Pat Smith reaches in. And this is impressive. I'm just... Uh, yeah, we, we, we said it for the past couple minutes. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just on point play. Hey, one, two. Uh, soft, uh, aggressive, all of it on fire. Another clean winner for Pat Smith. They are two away from playing tomorrow in the final. Nine, one, two. And that is wide, and we are at match point out of nowhere. Ten, one, two. Yeah! And that will do it. Welcome to Saturday. Pat Smith, Tina Pisnik, a absolute rampage through game number two. They will play for a title tomorrow, Adam. I mean, absolute rampage. The perfect choice of two words there, Dave. Uh, I, I was, yeah, I, I, I was just watching some good pickleball. All of a sudden, it's over in game two, moving on to Saturday. Well done, Pisnik and Smith. Very happy for those two. So we will talk to them for a second time this morning as they've won two matches before this day was even supposed to start. We will talk to the joyous duo when we come back. This is the Falcon Tournament of Champions. Play hard for fun, to win, to live. Whatever your play, there's Penetrax Joint and Muscle Cream to let you play on. Deep penetrating relief without greasiness, irritation, or unpleasant odor. Inspired by nature and 100% guaranteed. Try Penetrax and play on. For muscle cramps and spasms, you need fast relief. TheraWorks Relief absorbs quickly with a safe, gentle, non-opioid formula without the mess or strong odor. So get back at it. TheraWorks. TheraWorks. TheraWorks works. Use TheraWorks every day to prevent muscle cramps and spasms. TheraWorks works. Try TheraWorks and get back at it.
Welcome back, everybody, to the Vulcan Tournament of Champions in, in one of the more impressive individual games within a semifinal on the PPA Tour. Pat Smith and Tina Pisnik just go beast mode, and they win, and they are going to play for a title tomorrow. Funny. We should meet more often here, you two. Here we are chatting with you again. And uh, Pat Smith, congratulations. What does it mean to you to be back there playing for a title on the PPA Tour tomorrow? Oh, it means a lot. I mean, last time was, I guess, I think with Jay, um, 2021. Uh, it's a lot easier for me to play when my hip's not hurting. You know, when I'm moving, I'm actually able to move a little bit better and, uh, and I'm not in pain, so that helps a lot. Um, my game kind of comes and goes with my movement so uh yeah it's amazing and then playing with tina i mean this is what our third or fourth tournament together uh we just get along so great on and off the court and we're just having a blast the entire time we were talking about are you having fun <laughs> she goes yeah we are and vice versa so it was uh, yeah it was amazing Hey, Tina, Adam Stone here. Phenomenal job out there. And I was just wondering, for, for some of our viewers at home, the mid-court play is one of the last things that a lot of these players figure out. And early in your career, you seem to be very comfortable there. Is there any drills or any tips or any things that, that help you be so effective in the mid-court? Um, that I need to thank my coach, Colin. He, he said, you know, if you start owning the mid-court, you'll do good. So, um, yeah, we've been working on that recently, so I think it's paying off. And um, like Pat said, we're enjoying it, we're having fun, and it's rock and roll. Colin's been sending text so Pat, messages left and right. <laughs> so, Pat, a unique situation here where the other semifinal will be played at the end of today. You guys going to watch that and scout it, or how are you going to uh, deal with that? It's a very unique situation thanks to the wind yesterday. Well, you know, that's a great question. I haven't even thought about that yet, but I'm probably <laughs> one of the guys that doesn't watch much pickleball. Um, uh, once the tournament's over, I have to go back to work, and then, uh, you know, I, tournament week comes along, and I start focusing a little more on pickleball again. But uh, I think we're going to talk about it and to see who's going to win that one, and then uh, depending on... Uh, figure out a game plan depending on that, but I think we're going to go watch a little bit for sure. Yeah. All right. Uh, Tina's nodding her head very, very much there, Pat. So I think there is some pickleball watching in your future later tonight. Well, really impressive, you two. Congratulations. Good luck in the final tomorrow. And now you got to go play men's and women's doubles. So good luck in that the rest of the day as well. Tina Pisnik, Pat Smith, playing for a title at the Vulcan Tournament of Champions. We'll see you guys later today. So Thanks, Adam, guys. Thank you. they are ready to go, and it is an impressive duo. As And you can see, like, I love pickleball because it brings joy to so many players, beginners, all the way up. Look at the joy on those two faces. Uh, very happy, yes. <laughs> very happy. And you, like you said, like Pat said, he, he's, he goes back to work in between. So yeah. th this is joy, and this is fun for him, and competition, all of it. So that's what pickleball is, and that's why we love it, Dave. So. We told you it's men's and women's doubles day, and now we're going to prove it. The first match, ooh, this is a fun one. We've got Spencer Smith, Todd Fote, Wes Gabrielson, and Spencer Lanier. This is going to be something else. We'll have that for you when we come back. This spring, you don't have to be a baller to buy like one. With a power bid approval from Guaranteed Rate, you can go head to head with cash offers and win. Call a Guaranteed Rate loan officer today. Bring it on! Pack all the things. Fly on your schedule. Reward yourself and girls whenever. 
stay or go when you wanna. And more is on the way. So when you're ready to go, go with heart. Go with Southwest. To make it to the game, it takes dedication and training. To stay in the game, it takes grit and stamina. To win the game, it takes strategy and skill. You keep focus on your approach, drop, and champion shots, and we'll help you stay focused on your strength, flexibility, speed, and downtime. Having a sports medicine partner in your court is key to helping you make it to the game, stay in the game, and win the game. Select Medical is proud to be the exclusive provider of physical therapy of the PPA Tour. Welcome back, everybody. Dave Fleming here with Adam Stone, and this is the Vulcan Tournament of Champions, and we are ready to get men's doubles underway. Adam, let's first talk about the difference. You, I know, love the intrigue of men's doubles. Why do you love it so much? Well, because gender doubles is my favorite doubles. It is, and I, let's not forget we're going to talk about the ladies oh, in a second. Absolutely. But the fellas, we have just some really heavy-handed counters, and you really have to pick your spots, and you were going to get burned if you made poor decisions. So the chess match at the kitchen line, picking your spots, trying to get into the patterns that you want to, and being very, very careful uh, uh, with your decision making, whereas we have the ladies who just really let oh. it fly. <laughs> and that's why ladies doubles is one of the most popular things, just because they are swinging away. So. We talked about the Utah players. Well, there's one of them, Spencer Smith, who has had some really nice runs and uh, has been playing well with that Vatic paddle. Loves the backhand ATP and from just right about an hour south on I-15 there in Salt Lake. So he is somebody that can beat anybody out there. He's got the skills. Absolutely. I've, I've been around with Spencer from right at the beginning about seven or eight years ago. So he's got he's got a nice veteran presence out there. And he is he stepped up with a little more power and offense uh, in the recent months. So I'm expecting some good stuff from him. And we have two sets of good friends. We have the Pacific Northwest. Yes. We have Lanier and Gabrielson here. And then we have, like you said, an hour south, uh, Todd Fote and Spencer Smith. So this is going to be a real treat. And I'm excited for uh, a great first round matchup. Yeah, and we, we never know what we're going to get with the first match out of the hop in Wes Gabrielson Hall of Famer. Yeah. And let's this, just start there. Now let's start there. And this is, yeah, this is not going to be, I'd be shocked if this is a lopsided affair, is 100%. what I'm trying to say, whereas some of those first rounds will be uh, more likely than the later rounds. So th this is, uh, as I said a second ago, a real treat. And uh, Wes Gabrielson, legend of the game. He's got all the titles back there. And now he's a great teacher and mentor yes. of the game as well. So he, he he's well, well respected in the pickleball community, and I can't wait to watch him. It's been a while since I have had that privilege. Now I'm thrilled to see him on center court. And speaking right, of one. those he Tight coaches, zero, the one zero. is standing to his left, and you will see him serve right-handed and play left-handed, folks. That, your TV screen did not change, or your phone or tablet or whatever you're watching, and we appreciate you being here. So let's play pickleball. Side out. Zero, zero, one. And if you're wondering why you can't see Todd Fote, that Lanier is a big, big one, man. Zero, one. That's right, and talk about some paddle head speed on that forehand speed up from Todd Fote. Yes. Very nice, but yes, he's he's literally blacked out. I can't out. even blacked say him. He's, he's, he's blacked, blacked out. <laughs> Two, zero, one. And this, uh, uh, this, this lineup, obviously, uh, for Lanier and Gabrielson, the lefty-righty, makes a lot of sense. But the two righties on the far end, Spencer Smith playing so many years with Tyler Loon, he is very comfortable on the left yeah. side. That's it, Spence. And Lanier shaking his head because he knows he's made a couple errors to start with. And guess what? When you wake up, you know you're going to come out. You know you're playing with the guy you Three, respect. Zero, and then they say, you're on center. Get out there and show your best stuff. There are nerves. Right out. 
A little ambitious from Todd Fote. Uh, that one about six inches You're lower than one. the first attempt yes. that he had, but expect him to continue to look for that forehand speed up throughout the match. Yeah, and that's, that's a ball that possibly six months ago, Spencer Smith just would have dinged yeah. started the rally from the kitchen line. He says, no, no, I'm going to put pressure on my opponents, and he's rewarded. And you are going to get all the craftiness from Gabrielson, aren't you? Yeah, he's got the lobs. He'll do it on the short hop out of the air. He's got slippery side spin attacks, all different kinds of shots coming from that man. And look at that get. Point. And an unbelievable pickup produces a point. I was ready to start talking. <laughs> halfway, halfway through that point, and for Wes Gabrielson to dig that one ball and earn the point a few shots later, well done. Backhand pushed down the line, and Fote was on it, and Fote hasn't been playing much over there, so yeah. impressive. Yeah, right, right after my very knowledgeable comment about Spencer Smith <laughs> yeah. on the left. Yeah, he's going to stay there the whole time. <laughs> Second serve. Nice little yeah, tricky speed up, and you're exactly right. Todd Fote lost Three, two, his uh, base, his balance, and his footing, and often when that happens, a uh, mistake follows. Goodness, Todd, folks, stop it. Yeah, that was disgusting. Uh, to the manipulation of the wrist and the paddle to get underneath that Four, ball and two, create two. the rotation and spin, very high degree of difficulty from Todd Folk. Well, I'm going to ask Point. for that back from the truck if we can run. I don't care when, at some point. That was outstanding. Five, two, two. I mean, that dude, the kitchen is miniature. Yeah, good, good luck make, making that ball bounce in front of him. And yeah. a couple too many. Two, five, oh, and one. here's, they're even giving it to us Ooh. from that. Pretty. That's camera work. Yes, thank you, truck. And oh, look at this dig on the ATP, it's in. Oh, and then no willpower from Gabrielson, so. Boat putting on a highlight reel here. Yeah, my gosh. How do you make it a paddle on that ball? Because that's the layup ATT yes. that Lanier had. Yeah, the one that kicks off the tape is the one you love. Not in that case. Side out. And now Lanier's like, well, he's having fun with these <laughs> ridiculous attacks from one hand. So uh, Five, two, one. quickly get it back to Smith and Folk. And just getting started here in the men's doubles. Point. And Lanier, a couple errors, and you Time will out, not receivers. beat a team, Six, two, especially a Utah team, if you make mistakes. Few of those so far. Gabrielson, savvy veteran, calls the timeout. In fact, we've referred to the West Gabrielson <laughs> timeout policy. What is it? Well, I, well I, I, I walked past him after we talked about it, and I said, I just talked about you on air, West three, and you call a timeout. And he goes, sometimes I do, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, thanks. <laughs> OK, way to go. Well, thanks, Wes. Well, needed one here for sure. Smith and Fote looking good in game one. To make it to the game, it takes dedication and training. To stay in the game, it takes grit and stamina. To win the game, it takes strategy and skill. You keep focus on your approach, drop, and champion shots, and we'll help you stay focused on your strength, flexibility, speed, and downtime. Having a sports medicine partner in your court is key to helping you make it to the game, stay in the game, and win the game. Select Medical is proud to be the exclusive provider of physical therapy of the PPA Tour.
welcome back. There's a good look at Spencer Smith and uh, he's got a little Hi, lettuce man. flowing out of the back Six, there two, now. <laughs> well, they call it the show lettuce. Oh, and Lanier after, Point. I'm sure, getting the, hey, we're good talk from Wes. And Spencer had a beautiful Smith. first what? attack. Spencer Smith in the worst spot yes. ever. <laughs> and gets the foot fault call. And all over it. Yeah, lefty forehand, like you said. Spencer Smith decided he was going to try the middle of the court. Unsuccessful. Seven, two, two. Saw some of the magic of Gabrielson and then, then waving One. everything and then just dinks it in the middle. <laughs> Shoulder shimmy. Second serve. Just a tad late. I love the take, though. Yeah, decent look. I like that step over two, seven, from Gabrielson. Two. Don't know. Doesn't always work out, but keep trying. Near having Side just out. a rough time with some of the fundamentals, the dinking, that way too high there. So, got to get it dialed in here. It's, the good news is this isn't like football where a tough first game does not carry over. In a game two, we start at zeros. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But to touch on your point, uh, you know, Spencer Lanier, tall guy, obviously has some offense and some reach. But Eight, if he doesn't two, clean one. up that dinking and midcourt play, he's not going to get to the point to use those yeah. tools, Dave. Point. Nine, Nine two, two here. One. Again, first round men's doubles. The ladies will start a little later. Second serve. Good look from Spencer Smith, fine with Nine, the drive, two, stepping two. right into the court. He was going to hook serve. across court, and obviously Wes Gabrielson yeah, did too. Wes took a step over there and just watched it sail by his forehand. It's way too high again from Lanier, so a little Side frustrated out. with that. And this is a young player on the rise too in Lanier, so don't let Nine, this two, fool you. And the minute he finds it, it's going to be trouble. Yeah, that's one of those where you're playing a guy in flag football who Nine, makes two, like eight two. moves and he's still standing in the same spot he was a second ago. Uh, just wide on Point. the lob, but Tied there's receivers. some of the Ten, variety. Two, two. Um, I, I think they call it in soccer, all dance, no advance. Yes, Dave. There yes. you go. There we go. We'll bring all the sports metaphors here, folks. So the Utah duo, Looking fantastic. So you got a young player, you got a Hall of Famer on the other side. 
As the Hall of Famer, what do you what do you say to this guy? I mean, he knows he's not playing to the level that he's got. We know he's a good player. Yeah, and, and he's not gonna, even though this is coach and pupil here, he's not gonna get too specific in this moment with technique stuff. This is gonna be more generalized. Hey man, all good, no worries. Uh, you left a couple high, let's let's dig out of this and keep moving forward. Now maybe after the match, they might talk uh, some technique stuff. <laughs> might break stuff. down some film. Right. But in this moment, it's really tough to get too technical. It's more just overall support and just letting him know it's all good. Uh, uh, if we don't catch this game one, we'll get a fresh start in game two, but let's, let's, let's keep going. No let's keep going, keep getting after it. Yeah, and then on the other side, the Utah boys look very good. Yeah, they, they, they look on point. Uh, they are mixing in some shake and bake and some powerful shots early in the point and then completely comfortable Time all four at the kitchen Time in two, the two. patterns and the, the soft stuff as well. So they look, uh, like you said, phenomenal to start uh, this match. And that's pretty coming out of the timeout. So they do save the first game point attempt. Two, ten, one. Second serve. Todd Fote on full attack mode. Some of the spin two, ten, that he is two. getting on these attacks off the bounce and out of the air is very high level. Side out. Another clean up and an easy side out. Second chance to finish right here. And, and ten, two, didn't one. overdo it. Nice, uh, powerful swing, but a nice controlled swing from Todd Fote. Second serve. Nice hands battle goes to Gabrielson and Lanier there. Third Ten, two, game two. point. point. That sails game. deep, so Change it. Utah, 11. Pacific Northwest and Oregon specifically, two. Very impressive from Smith and Fote. Can Gabrielson and Lanier adjust? We'll find out after this. This is the Vulcan Tournament of Champions. Introducing Versix Raw, the sweet spot of price and performance. All of the features you asked for, brought to you by the experts at Pickleball Central. Torre T700 Raw Carbon Technology creates lasting spin and a unique elongated shape amplifies power and broad court coverage. Experienced enhanced control with a hybrid core and the flexibility of an extended handle for two-handed shots. An octagonal grip with sealed edges guarantees comfort. Versix Raw, your game elevated. Follow your vibe. Busy Heart Seltzer, flavor for every vibe. Stay in the game with OS First Socks and Compression. Chosen by pro athletes for comfort, injury prevention, and muscle recovery. Be a champion with compression zone technology for support where you need it and the flexibility to make your move. Gear up like a pro and step into greatness. Welcome back, everybody. I appreciate you being with us, and uh, we're thrilled to have you here at the Vulcan Tournament of Champions and the Utah duo looking very good for their hometown fans here. Let's see if they can keep it running. And that is a very positive start for Spencer Lanier there. Great hands on an attack. Zero, zero, one. Second 
Yes, sir. And Fote is not letting up on the offense here, Adam. Yeah, very impressed with Fote uh, throughout this, this first round match. Zero, zero, two. Floor was lava, and it is Fote and Smith who get it again. Dave, I like those ones. Those are fun. As a player, as a spectator, as a zero, commentator, zero, whatever, those firefights are what we live for. You need to hit the ground? That's boring. Come on. Crank it up. Second serve. Yeah, sometimes even when the zero, zero, ball two. clips the tape, it's two shots later that someone's thrown off. Yes, you know, it, yes. it, it is interesting how that works. And that is great Boy. footwork from Spencer Smith right there. Yeah, well, I mean, short hop lob. I said what? West Zero. might yes. mix a few into those, but it was well disguised, and Spencer got a late break, but you're right, made up for it with the fancy footwork. Side out. I see what you're saying. The, the, the potential of the talent when he's controlling that Zero. kitchen what? line what? and reaching in and almost impossible to bounce it in front of him. I, I see where that can Second be a lot to handle. Just got to clean up the rest. And if you don't have the foundation, Zero, as you one, said, two. in game one, you never get to be a superstar at the line. and pupil both throwing out the fakes with the two-way over there and some really nice hand speed from Spencer Smith because he was fooled yes he was fooled he's leaning over one, to his zero, forehand one. side but to get the paddle back over and make a clean contact on the backhand great hand speed from Spencer Middle dink seems to be a adjustment for Gabrielson and Lanier. Point. Yeah, it's a nice grind, and yes, uh, maybe Two, zero, trying to one. avoid that foot forehand that's been speeding up so nicely, and uh, try that backhand wing. And there's the massive Second power, serve. Lanier, right there. We, we talk about the easy power. Two, uh, zero, two. Hurricane Tyra earlier. Spencer Lanier has that easy power as well. And what are we Point. about those people, Dave? We are jealous. Of oh, them. super <laughs> jealous. I got to swing zero, out of my shoes to get that thing to go even half that speed. That's Side impressive up. from Lanier right there. Another one of those tricky speed ups from Fote. Yeah, and to, and to hit that quality of a backhand counter at your right hip, Zero, three, uh, I think that is a little bit to do with the wingspan and that ability to cover so much of his body. Second serve. Tough break for Gabrielson late, switching over to that Zero, lefty three, forehand. Two. Point. Let's see if the missed return can get them going here. One, three, two. Look at Wes Gabrielson playing the left side of the court there. Uh, what, was, it, was that a, a veteran play and a veteran shot right there? A slow winner two, up three, the middle, two. Dave? I would, I would have to go with why he's in the Hall of Fame. Ooh, and Foch just deep, so those attacks that were going in, that one doesn't catch the line. And three, three, two. we are knotted at three. And now Spencer Lanier Point. pulls it down the line. Yeah, nice combo. And it, it's nice to have that freedom to, to pull it up the line and then know that you can get Four, back three, to the two. middle and, and strike the forehand on the next ball. Point. 
Point. So we've got the traditional lob, the short hop lob, the lob volley. There you go. Check them Five, all three, off. Two. It's a great shot Side from out. Spencer Smith on the right side of the court there. A little non-switch on the stack there. So uh, nice Three, run, five, best one. run of the day, obviously, for Gabrielson and Lanier. Second serve. And they choose not to get in trouble with the stack as well. So we'll see if West stays Three, over there five, again. Two. And it got them in trouble. Yeah, it did, as let's be clear, that wasn't the cleanest drive no, from no. Todd Ford. No, it was dirty. <laughs> it, was, it, was, yes, it was dirty. And Point. Spencer Smith just sitting on that. Yeah, he, he, he was Time out, receivers. putting that paddle five, in forehand five, position the whole time, and uh, Spencer Lanier trying to whip through with some nice spin and pace, but Spencer Smith right there. And not if you give them the menu before you serve the dish. So nice recovery from Smith and Fote. And we are tied at five. So Utah, your boys are up a game tied at five here at the Vulcan Tournament of Champions. Get away with a great deal at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Now's the time to get in and get away. Get up to $1,000 bonus cash on the 2023 Tucson or Santa Fe, plus 3.29% APR. Now, during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. 15 seconds. One timeout, two timeouts. Welcome back, everybody. Good look at Todd Fote and Spencer Smith there playing just up the road. Time I mean, in. One five, road five, with two. about 50 miles to go up. I-15 here in Utah. Side out. So the timeout pays dividends, get the ball back. Five, five, they gave one. up three, but uh, don't give up the lead. Good little half earning from Fogg. Yeah, kind of holds his feet and, and jumps at the last second. Really nice athleticism five, five, from him. And not only the ability to get in position to hit that shot, but the quality of shot afterwards. Point. Yeah, that was, he was hitting that to Wes. No, no. Says, <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me get that big paw no. in there and Six, swipe five, away. Two. That is not making it to the man in red. So the push off is called on Foat. So Point. we talk about lobbing and what it does to get your opponents off the kitchen, but you can get some freebies too. Seven, Definitely. five, two. I've been called on that about 46 times <laughs> in my career. And Point. Spencer Smith gets tagged. He knows it was going wide, but nothing he can do. And a great response from Gabrielson and Lanier Eight, five, coming out two. of the timeout. Oh, 
Gabrielson got exactly what he wanted. Yeah, it was good athleticism to even put a decent Five, swing eight, on that from Fode after the tricky first shot, but you're exactly right. Wes loves that combination. Point. Yeah, I mean, there's been there's been a couple a couple balls in that point. He, Six, he eight, drove one, one from the baseline and then went with power from the midcourt. But when you hit it that clean with that much spin, you can get away with a little bit of that. Second serve. A little too much power on that one for Fote. So second chance to cut into the lead here again, just getting underway Six, with eight, men's two. doubles. And the trickiness of Gabrielson got that all started. Yeah, that's right. The side spin uh, attack out of the eight, air, six, very one. tricky. And you can see Spencer Smith very late getting over to his backhand side. Second serve. Just couldn't get the ball to bounce. Yeah, nice control of the kitchen line. And yeah, it's a nice, nice step up from Lanier cleaning Eight, up the six, soft stuff two. and a slight dip in level from Todd Fote. And I think that's why we are where we are. Oh. Side out. Uh, Gabrielson has had a couple looks at that, didn't get it, so. I feel Six, his pain eight, later one. in the career, so it's a little harder to get over to the other side of the court on the poaches. Shit. Point. And another example of being late getting to the line. Seven, and eight, one. It's the little things, Dave. Oh, the little hey. things are big things. That big lead is now just one. Boat fires down the middle, and we are tied at eight. Yep, another person that's pretty good at getting skinny. Eight, eight, uh, one. Spencer Smith, if oh, that yeah. ball absolutely would have hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Tattoo parlor is open for business in the Stone residence. Oh, my. And that's that a tough miss there. Timeout receivers. That was the most aggressive Nine, eight, one. paddle drop and timeout call I have seen from Wesley Gabrielson, and I have seen him play a lot of pickleball. So 8-5 vanishes, and now it is Smith and Fote just two points from moving on here. And what do they got to do? I think what they need to do is just get to that kitchen line. So the, the, the mid-court play and the back of the court play has been better from Lanier, but especially the dinking has been better for him uh, in game two. So once they get into that pattern, uh, let Lanier get to the kitchen line and use his length and then get to the kitchen line and use the craftiness of yeah. Wes Gabrielson. So will they get that opportunity? They got to get a side out to get there. No so all the timeouts are gone and that is not surprising. And uh, it's uh, it's got to be now though Time because in. you can't worry Nine, about eight, the lead one. you've had throughout this game. And you got to get two stops here on a one there Fode and Smith. Second serve. Oh, I wasn't, sure, wasn't sure if that hit tape or body. Yeah, but it, it was tape. It was indeed tape. Second Nine, critical eight, stop right here. Point. And sometimes the let cords hurt you, and sometimes You're they out. are perfect resets right into the kitchen. Tough break Ten, eight, for Lanier two. and Gabrielson. Match point. And point. that will do Ten. it. So Ten. Gabrielson Lanier put up quite a fight, had an 8-5 lead, and then watched six in a row go to the men from Utah. So Spencer Smith, Todd Fote are moving on. We will talk to the Utah natives when we come back.
We are in Brigham City, Utah at the Vulcan Tournament of Champions. Want to maximize your game performance to always stay in bounds? Look no further. Thorlow Pickleball Socks are specifically engineered with our innovative padding to help you perform your best. Pickleball Socks that keep you on the ball. Find your sock at Thorlow.com. Play hard for fun, to win, to live. Whatever your play, there's Penetrax Joint and Muscle Cream to let you play on. Deep penetrating relief without greasiness, irritation, or unpleasant odor. Inspired by nature and 100% guaranteed. Try Penetrax and play on. Let's have better time with this. Our advanced formulas are made of plant source omega-3s from nine nutritious foods. Green fat isn't anti-aging, it's pro-aging. Have better time with green fat. Welcome back, everybody. First match of men's doubles on center court has a couple of guys from Utah moving on. That's Spencer Smith and Todd Fode. And thanks for joining us, guys. Spencer, Dave here. What does it mean for you to play up here in this historic tournament in your home state? Is it? Do you put a little circle around that one and go, this is where I want to do some damage? Oh, for sure. I actually played my first pickleball tournament here at these courts, and just to see how much it's changed, like just the venue and everything, it's pretty crazy. So I always look forward to playing in Utah, and I had a bunch of people in the crowd supporting me, so it was awesome. What he said. <laughs> yeah, but, hey, Thanks, Todd. Hey, hey, Todd, Adam Stone here. Uh, nice job out there in round hey, Adam. one. <laughs> and what? Uh, t tell me a little bit about uh, uh, playing with this veteran of the game, Spencer Smith, and someone who is in your normal practice group, does that give you a little bit of comfort out here on the PPA tour? Uh, for sure, yeah, it's the altitude we play out up here. Um, everything felt normal, everything felt smooth. Uh, we played really good and we're gonna keep it rolling. And one more question for you, Todd Fote. Can you teach me that backhand flip? Please tell me yes. Yes, no problem. <laughs> All right, my man. Okay, so I didn't realize we were getting tips the other direction, Todd. So thank you for that, Spencer. Todd, good luck the rest of the day. Impressive start here on championship court. Good luck in your next match. So it is Spencer Smith and Todd Fote moving on. We'll go to our next match right after this. We're going to have another Utah dude on center. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. This spring, you don't have to be a baller to buy like one. With a power bid approval from Guaranteed Rate, you can go head to head with cash offers and win. Call a Guaranteed Rate loan officer today. Gearbox introduces the all-new CX-14 Ultimate Power with SST Core. All-new power band technology, delivering controlled, effortless power. All technology, every shot. Nah, you cannot stop me. Quinn's 
thing I noticed is just it felt softer than a, than a traditional maybe asphalt court. Softer feel, felt better on my joints, felt better on my body. When I was done playing, my body felt a little bit better. It was an easier recovery. I like that it's a lot of fun. You can also see many families come together. You can see kids, grandparents, parents, they all compete and have a blast. So you can be competitive, but also you can have fun at the same time. The Carvana PPA Tour is brought to you by Sell curve. Pickleball Central. Carvana. Skechers. Guaranteed rate. Fit Fine Wines. Select Medical. And Vulcan. Can't thank all our sponsors enough, Adam. Can't do it without them. And Vulcan, the title sponsor here, so appreciate their support here at this tournament. You heard the Utah guys. They talk about how special this is. Spencer Smith's first tournament. And then look who we see out here now, the lefty, Tyler Lung, who may be Utah's favorite dude, with all due respect to the two guys that were just on the court. Absolutely. And I am very happy that we got this one yeah. on championship. Why are you happy? Because the athleticism on court is next level. We got Connor Garnett, Christian Alshon. We got the hometown kid, Tyler Lung, and we have the, the young buck, Hayden Patrick, who's got all the shots, all the moves, and all the swagger, Dave. Yes, there's going to be some sass coming from young Hayden Patrick, and that is him right there, and uh, he has really stepped up to the plate in 2023. This isn't like, oh, look, some of these youngsters are playing. He is ready to continue to rise in the sport, and we'll look forward to that. Christian Alshon and Connor Garnett, what a duo, too. Of the players on the rise. This is going to be a lot of fun. Let's play pickleball. Alshon to Loom. There's Garnett. And look for Tyler Loom to really take advantage of that inside out lefty forehand. He loves that shot, and we see it right there on point one. Second serve. Connor Garnett already having a great tournament. He will play in the singles no, final no, no. tomorrow against Tyson McGuffin. A little counter. Yeah, nice short stroke counter right from the chest from Christian Alshon after not a terrible speed up oh. from Patrick oh. Quinn by any means. Second serve. Well, it's already, already kind of starting early in the match. Expect Alshon and Garnett to look zero, for zero, quick zero. points and, and Patrick Quinn and Loom to try to extend rallies from the kitchen more frequently. New shot alert. What is going on with the two-handed backhand from Tyler Loon? Never seen it. On the counters, I've seen it. On the dinking, yes, never. Never, never. And he mentioned he didn't do a lot of drilling in his life. He may have started. The situation we're in in pro pickleball. Yeah. If, if you didn't do drilling before, you better, you better best, drill now. Best, best catch up. Zero, one, one. So, new trick from Tyler Loon here in Utah. Second serve. Yeah, he's uh, he's very good from that position. Two, one, two. High balls to the left side of Tyler Loom's body, one of the best players at cleaning up shots in the game. 
Bingo. Nice little Point. save from Patrick Quinn set that up. And we, we also see Tyler Lung sitting for him there, ready for it. End of the ATP is to go for the Ernie. And that's yeah. what, that's just what charge it. Just doing. charge it. I can't say that I've done that no. myself, no. but hey, well, you know. It's like William Wallace. We're going. I don't care how many <laughs> troops are over there. We're going. And the Ernie King does not have clean feet there. He disagrees. And finger wet. Oh, wait. He stepped on the part of the net. So that's the fault. Whip side out. Challenge that, yes. Whip side out. Whip challenge. The player stepped on the uh, end, end thing here. OK, the so the player said, stepped uh, on one, the two, end one. thing here, which we'll just clean well, no, up that uh, conversation, being review. part of the net. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the base of the net, or the end thing, and it's official terminology. That's I'll right. stop with that. We all want to have a little fun here. So Loom, who is literally the best at earning in the game, explosive, gets there all the time. So let's see if he did indeed step on, oh, well, off is a disaster anyway. So, um, I mean, yeah. It is. So it's I, that's what I thought they were calling initially because I'm like I don't think that was clean on the takeoff. That's not even what they're challenging. Right. And, and initial reactions from the players say so much. I'm very confident he did not step on the net post because his initial reaction was instant, but pretty clear on the takeoff there. Dave. Yeah. So this is one of those where. What's being challenged and what actually happened are two different things here. Because this right foot coming up here is no good at all. And then the little skip around it. Yeah, the, the heel twist kind yeah, of at kinda. when he planted. So. Great calves, though, Tyler Lowe. Oh. Nice, yeah. He's an athletic guy, muscular. Could get off the ground. So uh, we have an interesting video challenge, and let's see what the decision is here. The takeoff clearly a problem, though. So when this is going on, Adam, what's going through your head as a player? Yeah, it's it, it's something that's part of the deal. Um, you know, as we get these wonderful sponsors that we have and, and we have these live streams for all the viewers and an occasional TV timeout or two, uh, and the challenge system, of course, is what we're dealing with right now. This this is where the game is and where it's headed and that you have to, even though these breaks are sometimes extended, you have to stay locked in and you can't uh, get frustrated or, or annoyed that possibly your momentum got broke on, on these stoppages of play. So you, you have to, this, this is a very physical game, but it is extremely mental at this level as well and you can't let those little things affect your mindset and I'm just surmising here but I wonder if there's discussion about what was challenged versus what happened and what are the rules on, along that line because Gary Miller Onisha Smith and Sandy Reitz are trying to figure this out and this should be a fault because of what actually happened but will it be a fault? Because that's not what was called. So we got a huddle. The old meeting of the minds. And uh, while while they're huddling, I want to thank all the volunteers that make this happen. I want to thank the PPA crew who gets all this set up in all these unique spots, Adam. Dave, I'll tell you what, I was looking at the wiring of the video board. Oh, My nuts. goodness gracious, there's a lot of work to be yes. done from these volunteers and PPA staff. After review, the call stands. There was a fault. It's a loss of challenge, loss of timeout. 
We'll proceed at one, two, one. One timeout, two timeouts. Well, they didn't give us anything specific, no, did no. they? Did. We agree there was a fault. <laughs> so let's all just wildly agree with that. And when Tyler sees it back, he's going to go, I didn't touch that end thingy. <laughs> and he didn't. <laughs> Put away power from Tyler Loom. One of the better, as I mentioned, cleaner uppers when that ball goes up high. He ends the point very frequently. Oh my, and the Matrix move wasn't the most graceful, and it did catch him. And all Sean said, hey, yeah, that grazed me. So. Yeah, I'm just, whenever I see that happen, I'm just glad that the wrist is okay yeah when you fall backwards yes. like that so scary a big man going down that brace in the fall is the problem just a, coming at an awkward spot awkward angle uh, into Hayden Patrick when who has very high level hands but Looked funky on that one. Two, one, two. Yeah. Yeah. Up. That's nice from Alshon. Yeah, the initial one especially. Uh, just a great job from Hayden Patrick when to get a couple back, but Alshon stayed right one, two, on the one. gas. Second Great set. first volley there, and the one thing we haven't seen so far, and kudos to Loon and, and one, Patrick Wynn, is the Garnett backhand has not had a chance to be a difference maker so far. And I believe we have another Point. fault on an Ernie. Great read from Patrick Wynn. Get a look at that here in a second. No two, two, complaints two. on that one, and they already lost the timeout for the challenge. And uh, Garnett never got to that one. I was going to say, who hit it? Yeah. Who hit it? Garnett wanted that one. Here's the prior push Three, off. Three, two, two. Oh, yeah. yeah. A little, little stutter step. Say it up. Two, three, one. Second serve. Yeah, you don't you don't see uh, a miss by that two, three, much. Two. No, I'm Tyler no. on a soft shot too often happens to the best of us. Love to blame altitude, but he's from Utah, so I'm running out <laughs> of excuses other than he just missed it. We all do it. So a quick hold here in this particular match, which three, had two, so one. much build up to it, has no momentum, no <laughs> flow whatsoever so far. Second serve. The fellows will find it. Oh, yeah. I have no doubt. Three, two, two. Very nice speed up early. Four, two, two. Handled by Alshon. Yeah, I don't know how Alshon got a paddle on that one. That was pretty. Oh, and another footfall and the Ernie King is incredulous. He does have a challenge. 
The kitchen is an oh, issue is. right now. All right, so there it is on the takeoff. Point there. Okay, challenge. And Tyler Lung is, I referee believe. Referee timeout. We have a challenge of the referee's fault call. You just fault can't call, imagine it. I mean, this is a guy that's executed we'll hundreds review. of these. And there it is, as clear as day. So uh, it's, right on the it's, head. Uh, it's, it's, you know. The guy is as good as it gets at it, but he's been caught twice with his foot in a cookie jar. And, I, and I'll, I'll tell you uh, right now, uh, <laughs> Christian Alshon is playing a pretty solid supporting yes. right side role. He has had some picked spot aggression as opposed to just letting everything fly. He's been dinking well and, and, and playing a nice right side. So very impressed with Alshon, uh, who, who is known for more athleticism and offensive play to yeah. be a solid rock over there on the right early in this match. Yeah, that has ramifications for his career arc for sure. He has had some really good singles results and trying to get there in, in the double side mixed or men's and we are seeing some adjustments from that young man live right before our eyes. Well, definitely, and, I, and I'll give a shout out to the other side of the net as well. I remember when Hayden Patrick when started playing, he was paired up with Julian Arnold, and you would dink to that team three times and you would win the point. Yeah. That is not no. the case anymore no. from either one of those players, Dave. Uh, they have really cleaned up the soft game, and when you pair that with uh, some of the great offense that they have, they, they have moved to that well-rounded yes. realm of pickleball, which we all want to be in. Yeah, you know, it, it comes down to, I love to quote my man Mike Tomlin, do the routine things routinely. And once you add that to your game, it's really, a difference maker. You don't realize it. It's not flashy. You're not making the ESPN top 10 with a beautiful reset and a beautiful dink and a setup on the right side, but it's the only way you win. Watch the Johns boys play. Watch J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier, who have slowed everything down and dare you to do things now because of the fundamentals. They get to the kitchen more than any team. All right, let's see the call After here. After review, the call stands. The fault was good. Lost a challenge. Lost a timeout. No challenges. No timeouts remaining. Two timeouts remaining. And uh, is he mad at them? Gary Miller <laughs> is very, very clear. And if he could have added and go to your room at the end of that, he would have done it. So they can't. At least Loon can Time get in his car and drive to his Five, room. Two, but two. Um, all right, we are done challenging now for Loon and Patrick Lynn as they're out of timeouts. Yeah. That was a great two in that came from Patrick Lynn. To, to hit that shot in for Connor Garnett to not contact the ball at all. You want to talk about some deception, pace, two, and five, spin. One. Well done, Hayden Patrick Lynn. Could scamper that Second down and be a loom. Nice shot from Garnett. And, and, and the classic, whenever he's scrambling, the good, good, yes, good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Tyler Loon yeah, always yeah. lets his partner know that he's going to get it. Yeah. Good, good, good. Uh, pretty funny stuff. I know. I love when he, come, oh, man. And Side just up. no love for the local. Yeah, he is great at like, look, I'm not only am I there, that reset is good. <laughs> I mean, look at how good, Five, two, good, one. good I am. 5-2 here in game one of the second round. Yeah. And Garnett just eats Point. that alive. Yeah, that's what I expected a lot of from them, and they've tried it earlier on. A mixed Six, result, two, one. that one was uh, textbook. Second serve. It's just so, so offensive. It's Come offensive. On. <laughs> so offensive. Come on, man. And, you, and Loon Take also two, two. one of the best communicators with his partner out of the air. So he's like, you can get this. 
just wide and Point. not that that was a call that was needing to be changed, but they cannot. They've had two challenges over turn that wipes out their timeouts and future challenges in just game one. Okay, big H, a little swagger right there. I wonder if he might have said something when he was up at the net and Connor was giving him that ball. Maybe, Dave, maybe. Not maybe. <laughs> I don't think you know what maybe means. Quinn, tell you what. And some great defense Three, from Loon left it in. So, good opportunity to make a little Second run here. Serve. But got to get that third. And that's for sure. And you see Alshon so often on the left side, Three, seven, stepping two. over and hitting forehands. He is sliding to his right on the right side to hit backhand counter attacks. ends of that and we're still dinking. That's a just well played point right there. Yeah, very good stuff and you know, it's a game within the game. We have Connor Garnett one. loves the two-handed speed up off the bounce, but he's up against a lefty, so you got to adjust the spots. Yeah. Nice shot. You, know, you, don't, you don't wish for Second anything turn. Booth, but I almost wish you got called for it. Oh, <laughs> just to watch the explosion. <laughs> I mean, because the Utah crowd, as you heard, I mean, Seven, three, two. our referees do an amazing job. They were right with both their calls, just to be clear, but the crowd didn't like it. And you can hear the fans. They they are packed in there. Three, got seven, rewarded one. from Fote and Spencer Smith. They want the Utah crew to just keep winning. Second serve. Nice combination. One from Alshon, one Three, from seven, two. Catching their opponents in the midcourt. Side out. Yeah, quick side out there with not a lot of work having to be done. So 7-3 for Garnett three, and Alshon, who are an incredibly talented Second 11 serve. seed. Yeah, and I just, it's just, it's funny that 99% of players just, Seven, that ball three, dribbles two. over. Alshon tries to get it, and, yeah. he, and he almost I did. <laughs> he and Colin Chick are the only ones just going to think that they can go get that and put it back in. picked up the cleanliness yes. of play as we've Three, been building seven, in game one. Point. Uh, What's amazing is Garnett was going back to hit a backhand on that. He was <laughs> not going to hit an overhead. Three, seven, two. Uh, I mean, like I said, for you guys back at home, it's a special skill set. Yes. Nice job from Connor Garnett. Sustained pressure. Timeout servers. Three shot combination, I yeah. believe. Seven, three, one. So a little stuck on seven are Garnett and Alshon. So a timeout on offense. I like when teams do that. Go figure out what do we want to do. 
to get off a particular number. So this is Brigham City, Utah. This is the Vulcan Tournament of Champions. This historic event will continue right after this. thing I noticed is just it felt softer than a, than a traditional maybe asphalt court. Softer feel, felt better on my joints, felt better on my body. When I was done playing, my body felt a little bit better. It was an easier recovery. I like that it's a lot of fun. You can also see many families come together. You can see kids, grandparents, parents, they all compete and have a blast. So you can be competitive, but also you can have fun at the same time. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Good look at Connor Garnett, who already has one ticket punch to championship Seven, Saturday. Three, he would love to add a second one here today with Christian Alshon. Yes. Second serve. Time we got a clean Ernie. Hey, one out of four ain't bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not the Seven, percentage three, you expect when Tyler Lung is on the court, but uh, that's where we're at. Point. All Sean rolling thirds, very under control here. Yeah, uh, rolling thirds and rolling dinks and consistent Eight, three, with two. it. And love it. point construction there, Adam. Yeah, a couple of unique shots. We, we talked about the two-hand dink, Nine, and three, two. that's a very unusual speed up from Tyler Lung as well. Scorpion from Alshon, and they look fantastic. 10-3 yeah. here. Four or five great slides to the right and backhand Ten, punches, three, and then he can switch over to the forehand counter as well. Really good right side play from Christian Alshon. Just the perfect reset Point. on the Game. attack again. And wow, Connor Garnett and Christian Alshon, it took a while, as we mentioned, to get going here. But when they got going, it was really high quality. So the 11 seed, why not put 11 up on the board here at the Vulcan Tournament of Champions? Hi, I'm Rick Barry. I used to play professional basketball. Now I'm into pickleball. Performance is really important, but also recovery is actually just as important. LOMD is a product that I use constantly before my matches and after my matches for my recovery. Great for inflammation, great for recovery. I keep coming back to this. LOMD all day long, baby. I use it. 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 LOMD, acute relief cream.
corner booths, sticky floors, catching breaks, and second winds. You never forget the way some things taste. Great taste, 96 calories. Tastes like Miller time. We made our own tequila, so we'd always have a reason to get together, so you'd always have a reason to get together. Grab a glass, amigo. Our casa is your casa. All right, welcome back, everybody. Connor Garnett playing Me that too. left side with the two in it back in, and all shots no, no, so two. solid next to him. Let's see if Tyler Lung and Hayden Patrick Quinn can get going. from Hayden Patrick went and on that last ball didn't even One, zero, take zero. his paddle back at all just right from the position out in front pushes the ball down at Alshon's feet go, go, go. Oh. Wow the spin of the loon had Connor Garnett off balance but uh, got away with it yeah, did I clip the tape yeah yeah it must have too awkward for, for zero, something one, one. to not have happened yeah. there You hit a short return to that man. Yeah, <laughs> right. When one, he's one, taking one. the hop into the ball, really watch out. That's a nice cover for the ball. Second serve. ever. It's Tyler Loom uh, well out of position after taking the forehand first volley. So nice slide over to his right to cover the one, middle one, from two. Mr. Patrick Quinn. Point. Two off the backhand drive, get Garnett and Alshon an early two. lead. Point. Boy, and the Ernie has actually been a problem for Loon here so far. Yeah, and I, th I think it's actually something that's, you know, not talked about a lot. Three, is that one, it's two. so flashy and great when it happens, you forget about some of the errors that it causes. Ta-da! Yeah, same, uh, similar pattern, similar, similar result, Dave. And it's, you know, I'm not saying it can't, it's an amazing weapon when you use it properly, but you gotta be careful because there's a lot of pitfalls with it being out of position. And of course, very high degree of difficulty shot when it's not just sitting right there for you. Loon on the left. where the ball is going to get funneled in the middle. Two backhands. Wait. Interesting. Yeah, and uh, I think that I would say Many teams are interchangeable, but I think when you have Five, one, Tyler Loom over on the left side, uh, it's it's getting close to situation is dire. Yes. So got caught a couple times with short return, so this will be a short-lived trip over to the left side of the court for Loom, but they got to go now. Yeah, have a little problem with the ball here, so. Equipment malfunction. Hayden Patrick Quinn takes that out of play. And, uh, a little disgust there. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he's uh, terribly thrilled with what's going no. on these last 15 or 20 minutes, Dave. So, only way to remedy that is to step it up. One five one. A very bizarre Second shift two. there. It's almost like Garnett forgot for a second. That was weird. But yeah, it was like a, One, five, two. I don't know if it was bait from Alshon just hanging out in the center of the court. It, it was unique, though. Hello. And you 
here. Loon communicating throughout the point and just a little off here today. All right, one, one. There it is. So Loon, Second when it's turn. right, it is so good. And, and I mentioned some of the pitfalls, but that's when you get a successful Ernie, that's extra momentum. It's yes. different than your opponent's missing a dink 100%. or missing a third. So it's kind of like the firefights. They can get you going. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. So we are starting to hear a little bit. The crowd wants to get behind them. They need that little spark one, one, one. to get them going. So an Ernie and then a beauty from Patrick Quinn. Let's see if they can get to the kitchen and do some damage. so many good decisions today. Yeah, and, and we'll, we'll just label it questionable, not okay. bad. So I, I, I'm okay. He hasn't been doing that a lot. Right. I would label it bad as if, he, if he'd been going for that specific, specific ball quite often. So uh, don't hate Two, it, but five, electric hand speed from Hayden Patrick when uh, handling that forehand speed up nicely. Boy, and the aggressiveness of protecting Alshon from Garnett is getting them out of whack. So... This Three, unwinding five, the stack is a little bit of a problem here. And it's, you just don't see that too frequently from two incredible athletes and movers. So this, this is slightly unique in the situation Time where they receivers. are getting jammed up and having Four, issues five, with it, even though they have very good returns yeah. and foot speed. So, nice response. They make the big Ernie, and here come Loon and Patrick. Loon. Everybody and uh, Tyler Lung and Hayden Patrick Hunt starting to find a little something here in the Utah Sun. Nine in. Four, five, one. And that is a pretty ATP from a second serve. Connor Garnett and it's the Vulcan Tournament of Champions and uh, Four, five, Vulcan player right there from Utah, Tyler Loon, see if he can force a game number three. Tomahawk Ernie in the middle of it, and a fan cheered like the point was over. It was not. Five, four, one. I, I can't blame the fan totally no. on that one. <laughs> yeah. Second serve. Get one stop here, so the intensity level Five, four, is two. cranked now, and that's what we expected in this one. Just took a little time, it was simmering. And we've seen Alshon, who was so clean in game one, just a couple. Definitely. 
four, five, one. It was, was going to be hard to continue to play that well. So just a slight dip in level, but that's a big difference. So I think the counters from Alshon still very good, pretty pretty dang good. But the second Four, and the third two. ball better from Hayden Patrick yes. win in game two. Come on. My goodness, Fight. protect the money maker there. That's right, and. I mentioned before that Tyler Loon really likes that two-handed backhand counter, and he's sitting more heavy forehand uh, the last couple of months. Maybe a little something paired up with Ben Johns and MLP. We saw that quite oh, a bit. Yes, I saw it firsthand. Yeah, if you, you know, we saw it with Mary Brasha yesterday. If you only have to play half the five, side five, of your one. body, that is massive. of making a new team figure things out. Yeah, that's right. And these these are definitely more of the type of points we were expecting. Yeah. Cleaner, more competitive, it's good stuff. Never got reset after the Ernie. Yeah, exactly right. Awkward position. Uh, Six, not only with the feet, but that ball kind of in the throat area makes it tough. His drive is going to catch the trap or not, and it just does go wide. And Garnett and Alshon just steadily pull ahead a little bit more. Say it out. Second serve. Yeah, don't hate the play from Patrick Quinn. And he was going to put that ball to the right shoulder of Connor Garnett, which was the right spot to go. Just couldn't clear the net on that one. Say it up. Yeah, completely fine with that combination attempt from Tyler Loom. Uh, he missed that second ball long, but I'm okay with him taking that opportunity for offense. Wow, Point. from Garnett. Yeah, and that's one of the things. Tyler Loon does have some difficulty hooking that forehand, uh, Eight, five, which would be to the backhand of Connor Garnett. So good job by him anticipating that ball to the middle. Second serve. <laughs> he did the feet adjustment. That was amazing. <laughs> Very tall guy. He's like, man, I was Eight, four five, inches two. off the kitchen, and that was the difference. Just a slight case of my partner's in an exchange and I'm getting caught watching. Yes. So four or five balls to Connor Garnett. It gets hit back over to Alshon. He's not five, quite eight, where one. he needs to be. Oh, must have hit him. Had to have. Had to have grazed him there, yep. Yeah, the reaction from yeah. both yeah, players, yeah, Hay yeah, Hayden yeah. and yeah. Alshon, yeah. yes. Patrick Quinn is cheering a ball that landed six <laughs> inches out. That had to had to catch part of Alshon, and it did within two. Man, that is pretty Second dragging serve. it across the body. Yeah, from a 
non-obvious attack two. position, and that ball was going to go in, Dave. Great spin from Connor Garnett and great spot. Quinn's response to the counters has been much better. Yes, that's that is really the key for me. And I don't think it has much to do with Alshon's counters as the preparation and the readiness on ball two, three, Seven, eight, two. and later from Hayden Patrick when the combinations from him are on fire right now. Beautiful pickleball there. Garnett got himself out of a couple of jams with some beautiful resets. So they keep the lead, get the ball back up one. Eight, seven, one. Exactly what he wanted on a platter. Yeah. That's a tough one there, and I have been in his shoes several times. It's the set it up beautifully, can't quite finish, and unfortunately that is a pattern that rears its ugly head quite often in pickleball, Dave. It's not fair that it does. The Ernie's have gone bad more than good in this match. Yeah, I, I would say maybe two, two or three the, out of ten have been successful, yeah. I would say. Nine, seven, two. It's flashy, but it isn't always effective. And you, I think a perfect example, uh, you know, some viewers back home might not know this, but at the beginning, uh, when I was playing men's doubles with Deco Bar, he did it way too much, and then he figured it out later in his career. So here we go, match point. finish it and that is an impressive win for Connor Garnett and Christian Alshon. I see the seeds, the six and the eleven. This is not it's like some crazy upset by any means here, Adam. Absolutely not. And, and just to reiterate what you said, very impressed with the combination and the teamwork of yes. those two playing their roles nicely. So I know that's a disappointment for that man, Tyler Loom, here in Utah. So we will talk to Garnett and all shine when we come back. Check this out. This is Venom Go by Hyperice. You stick this pod on this pad and boom, instant relief wherever you need it. With nine different variations of heat and vibration, you can soothe your sore muscles instantly. The tight spot on your neck, that little knot on your back, that shoulder that always bugs you and your tight calf after a ride, say bye-bye to the pain and soreness. Heating up six times faster than any other heating pad. Ooh, that's hot. It's designed to get you out and moving. What are you waiting for?
Welcome back, everybody. There's a good look at Christian Alshon and Connor Gargan. We'll be right back to them in a second. This is indeed the Vulcan Tournament of Champions, and they just sent one of the hometown guys packing, and uh, we're thrilled to have uh, Christian Alshon and Connor Garnett. Gents, Dave here. Congrats on the win. Connor Garnett, what works so well with the big man to your right from Florida? You guys look like a well-oiled machine. Yeah, I mean, it helped. We're staying together. A lot of communication, both really having good conversations out on the court. He's keeping me calm. I'm helping him out. So it's just, you know, the more you can talk out there, the more you can play as a cohesive unit. Christian, hi, Adam Stone in the booth. And a great job out there, great victory. And early in your pickleball career, you've played a little more left side. Tell me some of the differences in strategy and play as you shift over to the right side pairing up with Connor. Yeah, uh, in the past almost exclusively, I've played on the left side. And, <laughs> sorry, uh, and the main thing is, you know, you just gotta get the heck out of the way for your partner, because it's uh it's the other guy's forehand, my boy Garnett, and it's 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 hard and like he said, it just requires a lot of communication to kind of figure out that middle ball because you know we're not really we're first time ever playing together. It's gonna take a while, but we're doing well. Yep. Yeah, well I appreciate those insights and I made a career out of getting out of the way from yeah. the right side, so you did a great job out there, buddy. <laughs> so Connor, a lot of people ask me when they see a player like you, congrats, you're in the singles final tomorrow. What from the singles day do you bring to the doubles court so that you can keep that rolling? Yeah, I mean it definitely after a singles day I was hurt and I did a lot of battle. I mean Christian and I battled it out there. I was gassed for mix, just taking some ice baths, just trying to stay as fresh as possible. It helps when you got a fiery guy next to you to give you some energy too. So a lot of good vibes on the court and that really helped as well. Yeah, sorry that I brought that up there, Christian, but you know, somebody <laughs> has to, somebody's, somebody's gotta win that one. Well, gents, you look fantastic as a first time partnership. So good luck the rest of the day here at the Vulcan Tournament of Champions. We'll talk to you later, hopefully. Thank you. Good plan, man. Yes, sir. All right. So the new partnership looks really, really good. And we are here. The first ever tournament that gave prize money. It's the Vulcan Tournament of Champions. And we've got a beautiful matchup coming up next. Get away with a great deal at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Now's the time to get in and get away. Get up to $1,000 bonus cash on the 2023 Tucson or Santa Fe, plus 3.29% APR. Now, during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. schedule reward yourself and the girls whenever stay or go when you wanna and more is on the way so when you're ready to go go with heart go with southwest stay in the game with os first socks and compression Chosen by pro athletes for comfort, injury prevention, and muscle recovery. Be a champion with compression zone technology for support where you need it and the flexibility to make your move. Gear up like a pro and step into greatness.
Welcome back, everybody. And we have quite a spicy little matchup coming up here. And this is what's amazing now at all these tournaments. You look up, you're early in the bracket, and you're like, wait a minute, is this a semi? Is this a quarter? Uh-uh. We're nowhere near that. And Zane Navratil and Gabe Tardio have already played on center today, and we'll explain why in a minute. But first, we're looking at a guy that you sort of brought to this tournament and got his career rocking and rolling. Tell us about Deckel Barr. Yeah, he's uh, Deckel Barr, the big man from is Israel, and uh, one of my good friends off the court as well. We had some nice runs, and he has really developed his game, and he's got a little bit of everything. Used to, you know, 6'3", Israeli guy coming from tennis. You know, he was he was firing away when he yeah. first started, but once again, as I was talking about with Patrick Quinn and Julian Arnold, who are also offensive players, he has become very much more well-rounded, Dave. There's Gabe Tardio, who Game one, time is eight. his partner zero, zero, today. Two. He'll be serving to the lefty Rafa Hewitt and Zane Navratil, and let's play pickleball. So I do. Well, he, no. he, he already he already stole one deckle bar forehand because I, I would zero, not one. have been striking that ball if we were playing no, together. No chance. So not. we we got to figure that out for this new partnership for sure. Serve. So Tardio lost in the mixed doubles quarterfinal that carried zero, over zero, today, two. and then Navratil lost in the semifinal after that. So usually in men's doubles day, you don't have a couple of losses already. On your... He's feeling okay. He's, He's moving it. great yeah. today. Uh, I, it's it's it might be 95 percent. It's it's really close to 100, and I love to see it. One zero two. I hate when someone is damaged out there. We certainly saw it with Colin Johns at the last Point. term, and then a ball clips off. And just to be clear, Colin Johns, Ben Johns, not in this draw, and it is not because of Colin's injury. These players have to make a schedule. They had not planned to play here. They two, zero, will two. be, all things considered, with the health in the draw next week in Kansas City. from Gabe Tardio being ready. Uh, cross court from Rafa Hewitt to him, so he Zero, had slightly two, more time, but Rafa destroyed that ball, yes. so he did not have a lot of time way to be there. Second serve. Wow, destroyed that one too, but destroyed it with spin and kept it in. Yeah, I don't, Zero, I don't two, really two. hate the leave from Deco Barr, but man, nice That's job fun. from Rafa Hewitt to drop that right inside the baseline. Right up. And there's that violent forehand of Deckel Bars. That's a great handle from Navratil. 2 zero, one. Second serve. So how do I win? Talk us through both teams. What are they going to want to establish here? Yeah, so I, I would I would look. Zane and Rafa pretty comfortable with each other. They have been uh, teammates for Major League Pickleball. Two, played zero, a handful two. of other tournaments as well. I think that I it's going to be a really nice mix from both teams. I think both have the ability to shake and bake, drive one. and poach early in the point, and both are very competent teams at the kitchen line, too. So I don't think any either team Second is serve. locked into a specific strategy in this match. Okay, it comes down to execution and who can take advantage. A little zero, two, two. feeling out process here early. Zero, two. Duckle Bar also goes for a serve as big as anybody. Point. And uh, you see a little bit of everything there from Deckel Bar. Big serve, some nice mid-court soft play, and then One, uh, two, wins two. an exchange up at the kitchen line from Rafa Hewitt. Nice job from Deckel. Side out. Same no, guy. Sir James. Yeah, same guy. Was that what you were going to say? <laughs> It's my yeah. same guy Two, one, trick one. right there. Yeah, it looks so good. And then can't put a third in the court and then misses a return. So, same guy again. Just just another day in the office. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Three, one, one. <laughs> Second serve. Yeah. 
Three, one, two. Boy. Yeah, Deckel with a miss. He he does like the inside out forehand from the kitchen line and often Four, one, two. body up the player up in the shoulder area on the uh, opposite left side, but will occasionally take that ball long as he did there on that previous point. Yeah, and we haven't talked about it yet, but we're about 4,400 feet in the air, one, four, so uh, definitely that is going to fly more than it would certainly back in Austin where Deckel lives now. Second serve. Nice pressure from Rafi Hewitt, keeping Deckel Bar back, and that's One, four, where you two. want him for sure. Oh. Oh. Yep, he was uh, looking looking for some strings on that four, one. Yeah, one, he did one. not find yeah, them. So it's like, where's the, where's the gut? Second serve. Tardia did not stick his paddle into, <laughs> into <laughs> not, that Not one. that time. I'm sure, yeah, Deckel. Uh, probably Four, made a little one, comment two. to him after that first <laughs> one. <laughs> yep. Point. Nice speed up from Rafi Hewitt, Deckel looking for the scorpion. And he, his comment to me, yeah. he would just be like, Adam, I need more room. Five, one, two. <laughs> yes. I was like, okay, Deckel. I was and like, okay. All right, then take by all means. Yep. That's pretty Four. from Hewitt. Just left that paddle just out there and then kept it there, didn't pull it across. Six, so one, really nice start again. Hewitt and Navratil look very comfortable. They've played a lot together. On the other side, not so much. Yeah, and I think that is showing itself early. And uh, Rafi Hewitt, some really quality top spin shots. And we haven't said Gabe Tardio's name too much early. No, we have match. not. So a lot of, a lot of duckel, both good and bad. We'll be back at the Vulcan Tournament of Champions. Hi, I'm Rick Barry. I used to play professional basketball. Now I'm into pickleball. Performance is really important, but also recovery is actually just as important. LOMD is a product that I use constantly before my matches and after my matches for my recovery. Great for inflammation, great for recovery. I keep coming back to this. LOMD all day long, baby. I use it. 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 LOMD, acute relief cream. For many of us, we just charge ahead because planning for your future takes time. And right now, thinking about your financial future takes on new meaning. At Baird, our financial advisors have guided individuals and families to achieve their goals through every crisis evolution and groundbreaking idea for over 100 years. That's the difference between thinking you're ready for what lies ahead and knowing you've planned for it. Now that's different. Discover the Baird difference. Oh, will you pause it real quick? I just sold the car to Carvana. Okay, hit play, please. What? When did you do that? I just did it the other day. All I had to do was enter the VIN or license plate, answer a couple of questions, and got a real offer in seconds. Then they just picked up the car and paid me right on the spot. I can finally quit my job and become an actor. Now you're right. Sell your car at Carvana.com today. The experience partnership right, right. certainly looks great here. Six, one, Adam, two. Navratil, and Hewitt. What? Great serve there from Navratil, and if the bar serve certainly big, but yeah. this is a guy that obviously Seven, one, made two. his name with the spin serve, but still has a very good serve. What? Yeah, it's a great combination, the shake and bake, drive and poach. They've done a lot of that together, and it's nice Eight, when one, both players can drive and yes. both players yes. can poach. So Tardio was on the left for a minute. That looked good, but again, he has been non-factor until right there. One, so eight, can one. they get it going? Can Deckel Bar find it? What? 
Hey, just right side, strong side, right? <laughs> just controlling the point from Gabe Tardio over on the right. We said Two we eight, haven't said his up. name, and I guess he heard us, Dave. He wants his name to be said. He's not happy that he lost earlier today. Second serve. Well, wow, it's really nice from Zane Navratil. No My goodness. And Hewitt went right to him. He's like, two, kinda, eight, I kind of put you in a bad spot there, buddy. Out. So do. Yeah, Deckel, big fan of the solo shake and bake, meaning uh, driving straight ahead and crashing eight, in two, hard. One. He went for it there, but overcooks the backhand volley. Tomahawk Ernie on the lefty there. That is pretty from Hewitt. That's exactly right. And Zane Nabert handling a variety of speed ups with one. ease early in game or later stages of game one. Point. Yeah, that's a sort of volley dink that's just sitting up begging Navratil to clobber it, and he Ten, does. Two, and one. we are at game point. Second serve. That's a great spot yes. to know his opponent left-handed in front of him and finding the left shoulder on that ball from Decker ba Deckel Bar. Yes. 10 to two, 2 You. Right out. Interesting. Uh, that would have been nice thing to say interesting I don't I, I mean I mean he's a Two, big man but he moves extremely well I he thought he had plenty, easy. plenty of time to do yeah. whatever he wanted to it's like he's trying to hit a racquetball shot real down low on the on the wall there Point. yeah we'll just move past that nice uh, nice third point there for Tardio Three, and ten, Bar. One. yeah Zane had to hold line way to find the middle from Gabe second serve yeah, and this is one of those where Tardio is confused as to what's going to happen Three, after two, Barf two. speeds it up, and that's that newness problem. Yeah, baby! Right <laughs> well, how precise do you have to be on these shots? And a yeah, baby, oh. round him up. Mr. Energy, <laughs> Rafa Hewitt, he will definitely let everyone Three, know one. what he thinks, good and bad. Oh, beautiful okay. angle from Hewitt and, and not to foot fault on that, too. So I'm telling you, Zane Navratil, Rafa Hewitt, tip of the cap from the booth here. That was impressive. Yeah, it absolutely was. And uh, throughout the day in the early mix, Gabe has got to find some energy and something going. He has been flat all day, Dave. He sure has. So Vulcan Tournament of Champions men's double second round will continue. And the good. The good news for you guys is we have a barn burner over on Grandstand. McGuffin and Ignatowicz 11-2 cruising, and then we're in a little bit of a hole at 9-8. They now are serving for the match. Let's go. And that'll do it. So Ignatowicz and McGuffin are moving on 11 2 12 10 they were really feeling comfortable and then all of a sudden there was a 9 8 problem but they righted the ship and again in these long days especially for mcguffin because mcguffin has a mixed doubles semi-final to play on top of what he hopes is a deep run here today in men's doubles uh, sometimes those early game threes rear their head later in the day like you said dave so that's huge uh, to snag that one in two and save the legs just a little bit. Game two, time in. Zero, also zero, got two. got the singles final tomorrow, does McGuffin. So, uh, all right, let's see if Tardio and Barr can find a couple levels up in their right game. Uh, a gift early is always a great Love way it. to start that. Zero, zero, one.
second serve. Yeah, that's just a very good shot. <laughs> it's a very good shot. I mean, it it doesn't need to be disguised. It's the location of that hip, my zero, goodness. Zero, and that's why it's so good. Everyone knew it was coming, Dave, and he still pulls it off. And yeah, baby, part two right there from Rafa. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened uh, as uh, Gabe Tardy was late breaking to the middle to cover that. But zero, zero, was one. Unable to make contact. I don't know if it, I don't think it kissed the tape. That one certainly did. What? I mean, I'm not sure Zane has missed a ball. Yeah. And he is not just dinking what? and zero, dropping. One. He is all display out there and he is really playing well. Out again, and the disappointment of that mixed final is certainly not carried in. In fact, it clearly has been an I Two, need zero, to crank this up. I have another opportunity today, and boy, has Zane been terrific. Second, sir. Heat check, <laughs> but I can't blame him for it. Uh, that one may be a couple inches lower than a few of the previous Two, attempts, zero, but like I said, can't fault him for much in this moment. Up going over the 36 inch side of the net too, makes that one a little tougher. And Tardio again, these two need the energy, couple of, couple of traditional Zero, two, points and then go for some of this. Bounced up a little better for Navratil, and he is firing. Zero, two, Keep two. on keeping on. Go to the well until they figure it out. Constructed point, and for Rafa Hewitt to sense that Deckel Bar was going to go to the Scorpion and not counter Two, with zero, his backhand one. and put it where he did, very well done from Rafa Hewitt. Second serve. Good job by Tardio there. So points are at a premium here early in game number two, and Hewitt and Navarro. This is when you want, like, man, we got to just get a couple more because that. That other squad is so dangerous. Nice. And we're just loading up two in it backhands on the other side here. Well, I mean, I just know he, he just loves that shot so much when he goes up the Three, line. Zero, and I always mention to the fans, Rafa Hewitt has a special skill set. Do not try this at home. <laughs> yeah, just. So they get to three. Yeah. Zero, three, one. Wait. So that one sails deep from Navratil. So on the board, can Tardio and Barr put a little run together? Yeah, that's uh, that's a one, great three, way one. to improve your counterattacking is just not even having to yeah. do it, Dave. Let's get out of the way. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Not rounding them up quite yet, but the Yeah Babies are on full point, echoing off the mountains one, here three, in two. Brigham City. flick from Tardio. Yeah, very sneaky. And he had been in the same situation a couple times earlier and very much just went two, soft three, and dinked that ball back. So to, to pick that spot and catch his opponent off guard was very, very nice job. <laughs> Rafa Hewitt's offense, and it's not its not sloppy, Dave. No. It is quality offense, well-timed, and, and these shots with their spots and spin are, are just really doing damage.
tweener. Second serve. I'm not sure if Rafa thought that was in, but uh, asked, asked, asked the referee and got the nod that I think it was right on the line Three, two, there. Two. right now for Deckelbar to find the forehand side of yeah. Rafa Hewitt. And to be honest with you, the couple, a couple of times that he has, Rafa has pulled that backhand over to the forehand side. So you Four, just got to tip your cap to Rafa Hewitt, who is really, uh, you know, weathering that Deckelbar storm. Right mm, ambitious party of <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, right. It's, it's tough when you when you commit to the offense, and most of the time in that, in Two, that four, setup, one. it's going to work. But when they neutralize it, it's really hard to let off of the gas. And that's pretty, and you know, you look at the scoreboard and you're like, man, Hewitt and Navratil are playing great. You're down one. Yeah, that's I know. it. I know. So there's a lot Three, four, for Tardio one. and Barr to take from here. Like, hey, we're fine. Nice, Ross. Second serve. And he, like I said, he's had trouble finding the forehand, and then he finds it, and Roth is there. So really, really tough right now Three, four, uh, two. for the big man Deckelbar to, to figure out where he's going to find his offense. Well, I think a good way to find offense could be to allow his partner to speak. Yes, well. exactly. There you go. Let's let's four, be the four, setup two. lefty side guy. Let's also put the third shot drive away. Yeah, Deckel could just never get a clean hit on one of those yeah. shots to get himself forward. Got stuck in the transition zone, and four, you know, that four, happens one. a lot, and it rarely works out well. So tied at four. Yeah, second serve. Yeah, great recognition, new partnership, and Gabe Tardio was sliding to his left yeah. instantly yes. four, four, as soon two. as Deckelbar made that move on the Ernie. What a recovery from Deckel Bar. And now we're hearing a little volume from the big man. Yeah, energy four, very four, important one. for Deckel. What? Uh, Gabe Tardy might have something to say about that. Is, you know, you got me a few times. I'm ready now. Five, four, one. We got a timeout on the other side. So after all of the fireworks from Hewitt and Navratil, they are suddenly trailing in game two. Sometimes you just got to weather a storm, and that is what's happening here at the Vulcan Tournament of Champions. Will we go three? We'll find out after this. thing I noticed is just it felt softer than a, than a traditional maybe asphalt court. Softer feel, felt better on my joints, felt better on my body. When I was done playing, my body felt a little bit better. It was an easier recovery. I like that it's a lot of fun. You can also see many families come together. You can see kids, grandparents, parents, they all compete and have a blast. So you can be competitive, but also you can have fun at the same time. Bring the drum. I need all the wins. 
Welcome back, everybody. Gabe Tardio and Deckel Barr have got Six, four, this one. turned around impressively. Wait. What's changed, Adam? What's that, changed? That here? assistance. Well, I want to talk about right side play. Sometimes when Seven, four, opponent one. dependent, I would just be a rock for Deckel over on the right side, keep the point going so that he could do his thing. And sometimes against certain opponents, it was a better strategy for me to mix in several attacks and then let him clean up afterwards. So Eight, I four, think one. the balance of Gabe Tardio of being consistent for Deckel, but also speeding up and let him put the ball away can be a great option for them. Or he could just clean it up himself, Dave. <laughs> or that he works could just say, well. hey, Adam, I don't need that dude over there. I got it. Right, and, and with the way that Nine, Rafa four, Hewitt is counterattacking, it makes a lot of sense for, for them to switch over to those types of patterns. Second serve. But they definitely have gotten to the kitchen a lot more here by using the drop, not the drive. Nine, four, and our two points from forcing a third game here. Yeah, and we, uh, when we would play together, we both have high risk, high reward drives. Where, yeah. and sometimes it's just, you gotta just four, put nine, it in your pocket for that particular match. It, he might find it later in the day, but you gotta go drops when the drive is not hot. What? Tough break, decent look from Deckel, just pushing it wide, maybe possibly thinking about some of Five, the quality counterattacks from Rafa Hewitt going for a bit too much. Picked him up like he was a pencil. <laughs> he just tossed him over the shoulder. And there is the roundup. My goodness, Duckle Bar is slamming overheads, and that has forced a timeout on the best rally of the match. That's high level pickleball, and you love it if you were the one that dug it out that you got to finish it on the two handed backhand. So, a little rally back from Hewitt and Navratil. Wind is picking up and so is the play. We'll be right back. This out. This is Venom Go by Hyperize. You stick this pod on this pad, and boom, instant relief wherever you need it. With nine different variations of heat and vibration, you can soothe your sore muscles instantly. The tight spot on your neck, 
That little knot on your back, that shoulder that always bugs you, and your tight calf after a ride, say bye-bye to the pain and soreness. Heating up six times faster than any other heating pad. Ooh, that's hot. It's designed to get you out and moving. What are you waiting for? Welcome back, everybody. The wind is picking up. Last night, it got so bad we had to suspend play, went over the 20 mile, hour, mile per hour limit that we had. And the 20 mile an hour ability of Zane to cover the court here. <laughs> I mean, my goodness, he was everywhere. He was barely able to move yesterday, and then he's doing stuff like that today. Yeah, I, I said, uh, I don't know what they gave him, but it's working, and, and we can see that for sure uh, throughout this match, especially on the last point, Dave. So, great timeout from Barr and Tardio. That's one of those where if you don't shut that down, that can be four in a row that you don't even realize just happened. Let them have their fun and round it up, and yeah, baby, and that only is one six, rally nine, one. that you lost. So, 6-9-1 here, coming back. Think throughout this match that at the kitchen line they have been targeting Six, Declan nine, Bar two. more frequently, and that makes me believe that they are more fearing Gabe Tardio's initial offense than Declan's. Wow, and Tardio got out of the way. Make contact with the player. All right. Nine, six, one. So the timeout. Massive there to shut down the momentum. Second serve. But that big serve for Barr is the first one he's missed. He does go for it. Nine, Getting the six, 10 two. seems very important right here, just from a scoreboard and pressure standpoint. Get the win, move right that ball yeah. four feet to the right. Yeah, and I, I'm a big fan of going for serves, but we put the drive in Six, the back nine, pocket. One. Yes. So maybe laying off just a bit to, because you're going to be dropping, you're not going to reap the benefits oh, of that big serve could be uh, something that Declabar could look to do. Yeah, if we're going to just play it conservative, let's take that all the way to the seven, first nine, shot of the one. rally. So seven, nine, great point from Adam Stone. Zane just absolutely demolishes a two-handed backhand with Duckle Bar playing the right there. Yeah, he's only got one trick over on the right side, and Zane has played Deckel a lot. So he has Eight, seen nine, that one. trick on the forehand, yeah, kind of side spin yeah. speed up that he does. What a get from Hewitt. We got everybody out of position right now. This is lovely. Second serve. Why does it seem like on these chaos points when everyone's out of position that it just happens to be a match where Rafa Hewitt's yeah. involved? <laughs> <laughs> Eight, nine, Charging two. everywhere. So second chance to tie up game two. Might have played an out ball there. We'll never know. And it's 99. I'm pretty confident yes. that, that it was going out. And and I, I'm okay with that nine, slide nine, and not going scorpion, looking for the backhand counter from Deckel. I know he didn't didn't get that one, but I, I like that. Side out. But what a interesting spot to choose not to unwind the stack. They get away with it. Nine, now nine, it's one. nine nine. Oh, and a very for Deckel safe yeah. serve Second and. Serve. Sometimes safe is death, though, too. Yeah, that's for sure. And but we are we are on the doubles, uh, double nine, day, nine, not singles two. day, so it's a little bit different. But I do agree, Dave.
that big roar from Deckel Bar. Incredibly patient point and some nice put away power. When the big man gets confident and vocal, it is almost always a good situation. So a chance to force game three right here. And they get it done with a little confusion in the middle on both sides. We will play three. Really impressed with Barr and Tardio being able to withstand all of the excitement on the other side. I found my way in bad times. I know I'll be okay because I found my way. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. Stone. We're going to play three. Dave Fleming here with Adam Stone, who's had some great results on this very court with that Deckel Bar, who was just completely under siege from some of the highest level you could possibly see, and they were able to withstand it. It didn't look great for him 10 minutes ago, no. Dave, and, and you're exactly right. Awesome job of uh, not only weathering the storm of shots and play, but that energy that we talked yes. about, especially from Rafa Hewitt. So phenomenal job to snag game two, and we got a fresh start. Game we do, three. we will switch ends at six. The wind is picked up. Who's Time gonna in. solve that part of the zero, riddle? Zero, two. up where they left off. And, and I don't hate that Gabe Tardio squeezing the middle just a little One, bit. There zero, was a couple two. shots there that I definitely would have considered Deckles, but I like that Gabe is getting in there from the right side and shrinking Second the court a little bit. Second serve, side out. Tried to sneak there even more and just a tad late and with that wind, it's pulling the ball zero, one, across one. the court away from him on that move. Okay, yeah, baby, on the first point and strike one for Deckel Bar, and that ball did not hit the tape. That was yeah. a swing and a miss. Some of the inside out forehands one, one, from a one. low position with spin from Rafa Hewitt. Righty save from the southpaw. Second well, you serve. Know, you know Zane's upset. When your partner gets a righty save, off a hand right one, into one, the kitchen two. and then you miss the next ball. It's always a sad story. Oh, right foot stepped in the line. The sideline, your right heel yeah. stepped on it. Big Point. when he landed. It wasn't the takeoff yeah. and it was it was in the blue, not the white. Yes. Yeah. Two, one, two. You gotta land the plane too. Mm -hmm.
same move. And gets beat, what? and Hewitt's volume is on the rise. I mean, it's, it's always on the rise, but he's playing like this, Dave. Yeah. You know it's going to be at a whole nother octave. Three, one, two. Big man, big target, so nice yeah, job to just <laughs> tuck in that shoulder yeah. in his head to yeah. not get struck by the ball. Yep, just let yeah. that thing go. Don't even turn around and watch it. It's out. Gabe can call it. All right. One three. One, one. three here. See the flag just over his shoulder whipping. speed up from Gabe, maybe hits one or two counters after that, but that deckle bar just inching yes. over three, to three, hit one. that big forehand at some point of the exchange. Second serve. Ooh, and they first drive in a while from deckle bar and Tardio had what he wanted. And he, he had Zane in such a bad spot. Zane had already started two, to three, go behind two. the back, <laughs> but he couldn't come up with the cross court backhand, unfortunately. And the lead is gone, tied at three. Three, three, two. Yeah. Oh, and rock you like a hurricane with the scorpion. Yeah, got him that time. Very nice job from uh, Deckelbar, who'd been beat by that same shot a couple times earlier. This time, no, no. Four, three, two. Play it out. Okay, so three, one lead is gone. That's three in a row for Tardio and Barr. Three, four, one. Man, just deep serve on the line, flying forward. Yeah, he, come, he comes forward hot. And yeah, he was in not the best position. Three, four, he, two. he turned a poor position into a good one real quick. Go, come on. Nice job again from Deckel Bar finding the forehand, even though he didn't hit a forehand. No, he he did found not. the forehand. Four, three, one. No, and this this thing just is cranked right now. Second serve. Looks at the heavens after the missed third drive. That was not part of what got them game number Four, two. Three, two. And two missed third drives there, so. Don't do it. He got a little confidence. They're playing well, Three, four, and he one. didn't stick with that strategy that got him there. That's a tough break. What? And now he gets tagged, so tied at four. Yeah, and I, I said big man, big target, because that ball is almost for sure going to be Oh, well out. wide, yes. Four, four, so. one. Net cam and a tagged Israeli coming up right there. <laughs> what? That's tough. Got to, got to come up with that one. That was one of the less quality Five, speed four, ups one. from Rafa Hewitt. So you got to make him pay for that one. Couldn't do it, though. And these little mini runs have an opportunity for nope. Navratil nope. and what? Hewitt to switch Six, with four, the lead. So. 3-1 Hewitt and Navratil, 4-3 Tardio and Barr, 6-4 Hewitt and Navratil. What's it going to take for Tardio and Barr to then flip that back? Get to the kitchen and 
don't discriminate who starts the fire. It doesn't have to be the left side player every time. Have Gabe start the fire and then some cleanup from Deckel when he's on the left side. But the key really is got to get to the kitchen. They have really won a, a pretty high percentage of those points uh, for the majority of game two and also in game three. And you got Navratil and Hewitt there just working through what they want to do as well. They're even discussing what the score is. So I yeah. love I love the split box here. Yeah, and it's and it's I don't think that they've really changed anything or gone away. It just hasn't been quite as crisp as it was earlier. So it, it's not like they had a quality strategy and then they start doing odd things that are don't line up with that strategy. It's just a little less clean and not not quite a, a, as crisp uh, with the speed ups and, and some of the soft stuff uh, early in game three. Or halfway through game three, Dave. Yes, here we are Time in. at the midpoint. Six, four, one. So switching at a one, two gives you two shots to add to that. Left foot was on the line. Point. And Alan Roman is on Duckel Bar on the left foot on the line on a ball referee that was timeout. floaty. Fault call. And we are challenging that so quickly on the end change. We are going to have a review. Yeah, he's got some skis. Yes. So it's, yeah. uh, uh, Wes Gabrielson also, I think he's got some 15s or 16s. So it's tough for, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's tough because it kind of comes up. I know, uh, like right when, at when is contact? Yeah, yeah on we're on. It's on there. Yeah. yeah. Tough break. Yeah. And what happens is what we all do. He did exactly that. He did that, and as the motion of uh, extending that foot slid back just a little, and then the call comes, you look down, my feet are clean, right, man, yeah, come yes, on. Yes, it, it, it's, the, the look is universal from yes. the pro players when they get called with a push off on an overhead yes. or just a, a plain regular foot fault. So I uh, just, just can't believe it's possible. Yeah, well, I mean, it is. <laughs> I mean, and so this is a question I get asked all the time, Adam. How do you know? Like, how do you know you're at the kitchen? Like, what is it? What is it? Is it train? People ask me that all the time. What's your secret of being at the right spot at the kitchen and not being on it and not being too far back? Well, I, I think it's just court time and knowing. And when you're you're practicing playing rec games or drilling, look down, kind of focus on it and, and get your bearings. And another great way, Dave, wear size nine shoes. That <laughs> is a great option to not step into the kitchen. Yes. And unfortunately, uh, Duckle does review, not have that luxury. After video fault call stands. The challenge is lost, the timeout's lost. One timeout remaining, two timeouts remaining. We'll resume play at 7-4-1. Alan Roman all over it. Just very clear with what happened, who's got timeouts Seven. left. So a yep. lost yes. challenge is also a yes. lost Seven, timeout. Four, And that's also, Time in. more importantly, Seven, four, a point. One. And there's a look at those skis, as you called them. Oh, Play. now a ball off the tape. So 8-4 uh, doubled up suddenly. Yeah, uh, Dave, it, it all evens eight, out four, in the one. long run. But man, it doesn't feel that way. Not in game three like big that. Moment. First think that Barr is left up and just Punished by Zane Navratil and everything's going their Nine, way four, right one. now. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so you have to, it's, man, it's like mid shin and he scoops it and is able to get the paddle underneath the ball for top spin. Rafa Hewitt, have Ten, a match. Four, one. Match point for Hewitt and Navratil. I think that stayed Wait, in. Match. It did indeed, and that will do it. And what a wild ending to game number three as it was 3-1, 4-2, and then round them up with Rafa Hewitt. We'll have a quick interview at the Vulcan Tournament of Champions right after this. I'm not very good at pickleball, but I've learned that if you dress like you're one of the pros, 
people are going to think you're a lot better at pickleball than you really are. That's why I like to buy all my pro quality gear at Valer. Whenever I added the bag with the, with the Valer hat, I mean, my duper score went up three points overnight. It, it was incredible. I have been mistaken for Julian Arnold uh, at a couple rec league tournaments recently, so I like to throw out some Andiamos every now and then when I'm playing just to, just to have some fun with it. Having trouble getting your dink up? Our advanced formulas are made of plant source omega 3s from nine nutritious foods, never nutrient isolates. Have better time with Green Fat. Everybody, Rafa Hewitt, Zane Navratil standing by. And Zane, it looked like you guys were having a lot of fun in a very tight battle, but sometimes that can be the difference. And what a rampage to finish it. How did you get it done? Uh, normally it's a Rafa weekend, but we're playing during the week. So it's a Rafa week. Uh, he plays best when he's having fun and, and doing dumb stuff. I, do, I play best when I'm doing dumb stuff too. So we actually played pretty disciplined for, for our standards, yeah. but not too disciplined. Can't have that. <laughs> <laughs> well done out there, guys. Adam Stone here, Rafa Hewitt. So, uh, uh, so is that the key then, just the dumb stuff? I guess a little bit of that here or there. We, we had a couple game plans, and we stuck to it. And uh, I like facing Deckel straight up. I feel like I have decent hands, and I know Zane can pull some really cool trigger shots. and. My hands are good enough to clean those up, so I think our patterns work really well together. Lefty righty combo. Up, rounding them up. You know it. Yeah, when the round them ups come out, it's good stuff. Yeah, well, you guys have been rounding them up very well, so uh, good luck as this day continues. You boys were very entertaining, and the pickleball fans certainly appreciate that. So thank you, Rafa and Zane, and folks, we are going to now take a break and switch over at the top of the hour. We will be heading to CBS Sports Network at 1 o'clock Mountain. That's 3 o'clock Eastern. And uh, this is going to be a tremendous afternoon of pickles. So switch over there, and we'll see you at the top of the hour. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>